run. Run. I don't know what an Ikugo is, but sure, yeah. Why not? All right, it's cozy time. Hold on. Time to cut the music. Let's chill. Let's relax a little bit. Let's hop into the criminal's cut. Take a little sip of our lattes and uh, wind down a bit. We'll get back to running in a second. We'll get to running once we get to um, the bayou. But before that, it's always good to have a little caffeine in your system and a little chat. There we go. I think everything's working. Is everything working? All right. Nice. Cool. Um, yeah, I think we got everything working all right. Hi, how's it going? Uh, you know, introductions are, I guess, in order. I should say, uh, yeah, it's cozy in here. Hello, Octoposse, and welcome in. Hi, Octavio. Your stream is pretty cozy, too, even if you were standing outside in the snow like a weirdo. Welcome in. Welcome into the, <laughs> the tavern, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not the one you're used to, but it's the one I like to hang out at, so you can hang out here. Just don't tell Gerard where to find it. Or GB. <laughs> uh, Hi. I'm Crimson Ruse. I'm Elysium's greatest monster hunter, and I am your least favorite idol. I'm currently hanging out in the Criminal's Cut. It's a tavern I like to hang out with, uh, hang out at when I need to get away from the boys. <laughs> I used to hang out here with uh, other acquaintances once in a while, but I haven't seen them in a bit. So now we're vibing here. Oh, it's Ruthless in there. That's rough. That's rough. Sorry to hear that. Dating sim filter. Absolutely not. This is whatever the opposite of a dating sim is. This is a hating sim <laughs> uh, but yes it's it's just got a nice warm filter on because the fire's like got us a nice little backlight it's moody it's good it feels nice I can feel the heat on my back ah, it's like I'm wearing a blanket look at this quilted coat feels good uh, we dig for hating sim I don't know what that means uh, maybe one day you know every once in a while the cover will be like hey you know Ruse, what are you gonna do about like what are you gonna do about like um you know, like voice stuff or whatever, I guess. Like, I think that's an idle thing people do. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I'm not really good at that. <laughs> and I'm like, I could tell people how much I hate them, I guess. Uh, does that count? <laughs> so I guess, let me know if you guys like that. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Um, We'll figure it out. But today, oh yeah, there's a lot on the docket. Uh, I thought I was just gonna sit here and read uh, super chats, but I did not realize, I guess, uh, how many super chats that meant. And I was watching Octavia, and I was like, oh, that's that's like a big commitment. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm still gonna do that. Obviously, like I'm committed to doing what I said I was gonna do. But I am a little surprised at what that ends up being. Uh, so. I'm still gonna do that. It's just gonna take me a little longer than I thought. Um, so I wanna get started on that when I can, so soon. Like, real soon. Beats you up ASMR, you better believe it. Super reading streams are a thing. Well, today is our super reading stream. Um, I don't think it's always gonna be like this. I think that's as wild as anybody's ever gonna get was uh, that monetization stream was kind of a big event. Everybody's being nice and celebratory and stuff. I think everything should be like, I, I should be able to keep up on super chats during streams now, I think. Um, but, uh, but for today only, I'm going to do a super chat reading stream where I'm going to read the super chats that we had previously. Um, yeah, I think I could do that. Yeah. I, from here on, it should be easy enough to keep up. I think what's a super it's, I think it's like a super is like, it's like if somebody gives you a warm soup, but verbally. Text-based? A text-based warm soup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that, definitely. It's like a soup, soup er chat. Nom, 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 nom. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna just go from first to last, uh, starting from yesterday's stream. It's gonna take me a second. Also, ooh, I gotta fix something. One second, I'll be right back. I didn't disappear. You know what? We'll just fix it live. Fuck it. Here we go. Uh, why am I... Eh. 
Oh, I see what happened here. Let me get closer to the camera. One second. Don't don't look at my battle scars. Don't look at my battle scars. There we go. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad. Is that? Are we close enough? Is this gonna work? Whoop. Yeah, good enough for me. Mmm, soup. Thank you. Uh, okay, so starting off strong, let's do this, baby. If I butcher your name, I'm so sorry, but I am gonna say who sent the super chats because I think that's only fair. Like I would feel like a listen. I'm I'm an asshole. But I'm not an asshole. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like I'm a bad guy. But I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> and I feel like if you're sitting here like taking the time out to send a super chat, I should say who sent it. Um, so I apologize if I butcher your name. Um, let's do this. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, starting with Aaron I. Uh, uh, a crimson super chat even. Uh, congratulations on monetization and welcome to Hollow Stars Roos. I love your highly specific special interest niche tangents and your need to challenge yourself in video games. I have a need to challenge myself everywhere. That's why I did baking. <laughs> I'm like, what am I bad at? I'll do this. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you sometime about, uh, what I did when, uh, Armis first took me in. When they first, uh, were like, hey, like, prove to us you deserve to be here or whatever. I was like, oh, okay. I'll tell you about that sometime later. I look forward to your 32-page thesis on Homestuck and or Medieval Weaponry at some point. Don't worry, I've already taken that, and I'm spacing it out over the course of my streaming career. You're getting it in doses. Every day I get you a little more immunized to it, all right? Consider this your vaccine for my stupidity, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, Suki uh, with the Magenta Super Chat said, Congratulations on your monetization. Welcome to Hollow Stars. Looking forward to your future streams. Thank you. Thank you both, uh, and I... Um, and looking forward to talking your fucking ear off and making you regret saying that you're looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, Rising Frog, Fog said, congrats on monetization. Servant, Servant AQs said, er, er, anger mark, er. That's how I'm interpreting that. When you guys send me anger marks, I imagine you're just kind of grumbling. You're just kind of, uh, in the background. <laughs> I better speed up. There's a ton of these. All right, here we go. Um, Nodoyami said, congrats on monetization! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ni Sunflower, Ni Sunflower said, congrats! But with lots of S's, in which case you missed the chance to do Z's. Which, you know, I guess it is what it is. We can't all be as cool as I am. <laughs> um... Investigation Cone. I had never watched any Hollow Stars things until I saw the Ruse debut by chance, by ch uh, by chance when it went live. Such a cool and entertaining dude. Hmm. Well. That, hmm. Fair, I guess. If if you think so, sure. <laughs> if that's in your taste bracket, that's great. Chloe Sinzai said Super Mario coin, and I said nice. <laughs> Thanks for the coin. Let me just bite that. <laughs> Yep, that's real gold, baby. That's all mine. <laughs> Take our love and compliments? No. No! Wacky Warrior 13, congratulations on monetization. Ruse, my favorite bastard on Hollow... Your least favorite bastard on Hollow Live. Make the cookies amazing. I know you can do it. I did, and then I butchered them live. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, okay. I'm... I'm oh, oh. Thank you for the super chat. Sorry, I got overwhelmed when I scrolled up a bit and saw how many more there were. That's okay. We're going to do this together. We're going to do this together. Are you guys ready for this? Let's go. Do not clip my winks. The winks are, it's it's actually a, it's, it's a, I have a eyelid, uh, I have restless eyelid syndrome. I'm not winking. I'm just involuntarily blinking in my left eye. <laughs> That's not true. I'm not doing that. All right, did you bring lattes? Did you guys did you guys bring something to be cozy with? Because I am going to be here for a second, and that's okay. Yes, that caffeine twitch. <laughs> Here's something that won't wash off. Um. Okay. Uh. I believe. Bear with me. I believe this is Isaac Vladimir. Parentheses Ruse fan. <laughs> okay. Uh, congratulations, Ruzoshi. You're the best. No, you're the best. Seasoned Salt and Paper Bay. Thank you for the cute little doggy emotes. Turkey said, congrats, Ruse. Let's go! Thank you. Nine said, cute little dog. I believe that's a Shiba Inu. My 7 p.m. coffee? Hell yeah, it's never, ever too late for caffeine. Listen, see, the trick is, 
just wake up when that big ball of fire in the sky goes down. If you wake up at that time and then you go to sleep whenever it's coming back up into the sky, you're never really that late. Everything's fine. Wait, why are my super chats disappearing on the screen? That's really weird. Anyway, I'll read it out loud. It won't matter. <laughs> Imagine sleeping. Ew, exactly. Uh, Sabina said, congrats on monetization. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Miki, P-0-8-1-7. Congrats on monetization, Ruse. And Nina Pedia said, congrats on monetization. Thank you, thank you. Disappearing Supas. Maybe I could group. <gasps> what if I group up the emote ones together? And then that way I can uh, read through them quickly, but still acknowledge everybody and say thank you. I think that's the right thing to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to find... Okay, listen, here's the deal. I'm struggling to find the balance between not wasting your time, but I still want to read all these and see them and experience them and enjoy them. And I want everybody to know that I give a shit because I do. But that's all right. We got this. Oh no, another ghost super. <laughs> Emily Sh Shunanigan said, looking forward to seeing some cookies decorated with blood. I mean, delicious icing. <laughs> Congrats, Ruth. <laughs> Lazy Moki, MV, and Chloe Sinzai said, cute Shiba Inus. <laughs> Thank you very much for the supas. Polterer said, congratulations on monetization. Ruru It's Ruse. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can call me whatever the hell you want. I don't care. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations? That's a word. Congratulations on the monetization, Ruru -chan, my favorite idol. I'm looking forward to seeing your journey and have fun. Um... Cello, Osada, Fujojo, and Jessica said, congratulate. Why do I keep, oh, I'm combining monetization and congratulations into one word in my brain. Yeah, okay, that's a new word. We just made it up here. So uh, congratulations to me on, you know, editing Webster's dictionary on the fly. So congratulations from <laughs> Rose, Cello, Osada, and Fujojo, and Jessica. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sarah said, for Lil Timmy's uni funds. You think I'm sending Lil Timmy to uni? He better get a goddamn job. You think my mama and dada, dada, dada? My dad sent me to uni? Pfft, as if. <laughs> I had to get in on my shitty ACTs. <laughs> I ever tell you guys that? Uh, I got... <laughs> uh, this is a little embarrassing, but I'll tell you, as a treat, you know, you guys have been really uh, supportive of me so far, and we're kind of locked into this stupid streaming thing together. So I'll tell you this. I, um... In high school, I got a, what was my GPA? It was like, it was less than failing, less than failing. I'm not kidding. Like I had less than an F average. I had a 1.8 GPA because I wouldn't do my tests or I mean, I wouldn't do my homework. I aced my tests. Like I'd come into class, I'd ace the test and I'd be like, I'm not doing this fucking homework. So I'd come in and my teachers would be like, what, did you do it? I'm like, no, I didn't. Uh, and they'd be like, you have to do it. You're smarter than this. I'm like, I know I am. That's why I ace your tests. Uh, <laughs> but then I did so fucking good on my ACT that my, uh, my university, the, the university of the area I lived in, and my, uh, it's not called a state, the region uh, of Southern Elysium that I lived in still, like, let me in on the ACT score alone. <laughs> and I rubbed it in my fucking teacher's face. I had this one teacher who's like, if you don't do your homework, you'll never amount to anything. I'm like, that's nice. Anyway, I'm acing these tests. And then as soon as I got word back from that university, I was like, hey, bud, check this out. <laughs> He's like, that's nice. It didn't go great for me. It turns out he was right. Um, not doing your homework uh, in university was a bad move on my part. I got kicked out by one semester in. Now that's partially because I was incredibly poor. And at the time they had implemented a system where you could not do the homework if you didn't buy their books. You couldn't even steal the books anymore. Like I had gone in expecting to steal the books, but you had to buy the books to get a code to be allowed to access the homework at all. And I was too poor to afford the books. So the Dean wrote me saying I was kicked out. I was like, hey, I can't afford these books. He's like, too bad, leave. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I still aced a bunch of tests before I left. And now, and then I owed them a bunch of money, but I never paid that back. <laughs> As if. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a personal letter from the Dean? Yeah. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, Rap Bastard said, hell yeah, bastard. I love your name. Uh, Mayo, nays, but the nays in, in parentheses said, congrats on monetization, bastard. <laughs> uh, 
Sakura Mikage said, let's go, Ruse. Congrats on monetization. And then Karen, Misuk, and Blank said, congrats on monetization. And then Egg said, yippee. And Misuk, thank you for the Crimson Super Chat. Can I call it a Crimson Super Chat? I'm adopting that. That's mine. That's what they are now. They're Crimson Super Chats. Does being called a bastard always make you giggle so evilly like that? Yeah, I think knowing I got under anybody's skin makes me chuckle. <laughs> it gives me a little guffaw deep inside my chest. Uh, Casual Lay said, Ruchan, please tell me the cutesy assets will be used again. Maybe. Uh, C. Joe Crooks said, congratulations on monetization. Good luck with the cookies. Thank you for the Crimson Super Chat. And thank you for the congratulations. And thank you, Melty, for the congrats in the Super Crimson Super Chat. Crimson. Crimson. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it so I don't slip up and say red super chat. Crimzoopa? Crimzoopa? <laughs> Thanks for the Crimzoopa. <laughs> Who the fuck said that? Was that Octavio? Yeah, all right. Thanks for the Crimzoopa. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, where were we? Um, uh, thank you, Normal Mar, for the, for the congrats. Um, Patware said, money from run one old school mud player to another. Can't wait to day one your membership. I did see this one live when I was doing cookies. Um, but I, I, I feel like I am obligated to tell you that I have never actually been an old school mud player. I know what they are. Um, and I, I tried one once, um... But I've never, I never really got the chance to play them, unfortunately. Uh, it, because I wasn't near a computer at the time that I was definitely alive in. Um, but I have tried MUDs, and I think it's interesting. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I have gone back and tried to play MUDs. Most of them are dead now. But a MUD, for those who don't know, is a multi-user dungeon is what it stands for. And it means, it was like the original idea for multiplayer MMOs. What you were doing was you were playing through a um, text-based adventure. So like you'd load up this website. It would be like, you would find yourself in a room with just a stick in your hand. Uh, to the north is a door. To the east is a hallway. To the west is a uh, locked door. And behind you is the entry you came in through. And then you would just type like east in the chat and it would describe the next room to you. It was entirely text-based. And if there was other players in the room, it would describe them real quick. And you all just kind of like went through this text-based dungeon together. Um, but I never really got to do that, unfortunately. Uh, but I would have liked to, I think. I would have enjoyed that. I like text-based adventures. Have you guys heard of Road Warden? I think it kind of carries on the spirit of MUDs. Um, I would try that, though. My age is showing. Yeah, my 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 eight bajillion years oldness or whatever that I had. Have. Have. Um, I haven't played through a ton of Road Warden, so no spoilers, but I do want to at some point. I know the main character actually uses an axe, and it's rare to see a ranger-type character who uses an axe. I thought it was cool. Um, but anyway, keeping it moving, baby. Uh, Daisy says, congrats, as well as Brit Blue. And Io, Io is spherical. <laughs> Alex G said, take my money, Ruse! Uh, if you insist, but, you know, take care of yourself first. Listen, I'm an asshole, but it's not fun if you just give it to me. I gotta steal it from me. <laughs> uh, Serena with the Crimzoopa said, Congrats on monetization, Ruse! Buddy Simulator 1984? I might have to check that out. That sounds fun. There was a student in our dorm who got like, hyper addicted to some mud. We didn't have internet in the dorm rooms, and they practically lived in the computer lab. <laughs> Mozambique here. Mozambique, is that a, that's Apex, right? I haven't really played much Apex. I know some people were like super excited to see me play Apex after Hunt, but that is a completely different game. Uh, it's very much an arcade shooter compared to Hunt. And that's okay, uh, but I doubt I'd be any good at that. I'd give it a shot though. I might try at some point. Uh, Joe Feather and, 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 uh, Xerxerus. I think I read that right, unless it's Xer Xerus. Uh, Zim57 Sky Limit uh, Art all said, congrats on monetization. Uh, Mr. Vig said, hey, oh, we can bully now. You just threw money at my face and said you're bullying me? You got a weird definition of bullying, but you know what? I guess if I have to get bullied, that's a good one. Uh, what the hell does crank 90s mean? Yes? No? 
I've never played Fall in London, no. What? What? Thanks for the soup. Fortnite? Nah, I don't play any Fortnite. Hell no, I don't play any Fortnite. Well, no, that's not true. When there was a no build mode in Fortnite, I tried it for a while with a few acquaintances who wouldn't quit bugging me to play it with them. And I mean, it was okay. It was okay. I like it all right. Thank you for the Crim Zupa. I will read that at the end of this. Once I get to the end of this list, don't worry. We're already about a tenth of the way through, so I've got to speed run a little faster. I keep getting distracted by talking. Um, here we go. I can't wait for Peter Griffin, yeah, to be in Fortnite. <laughs> How does Peter Griffin sound? He's like, uh, man, I haven't seen any of that in a long, long time. Never really was a big Family Guy guy. Uh, he's like, Lois? Oh, wait. Fuck it. Nah, I can't do a Peter Griffin. I'd have to hear him talk. <laughs> uh, Soulless Sanctuary and Yakumo. Y Yakumo Yomi. And Cozy Josie and Van Raito. And Yan Yankee Bancho. And Arnulfo Mendez and Galaxy Turtle all said, Congrats on monetization. Thank you very much. I don't feel like I really earned it necessarily more than I was kind of a uh, nepotism into monetization. It makes me feel kind of weird about it in a way. Um, but thank you. It means a lot. It's, 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 I, I hope that like what I'm doing here being a, you know, <laughs> a fucking idiot on the internet is enough to count as earning that. Uh, but I, in the future, as we go forward, don't worry, I'll do something incredible. I'll make it worth your time. We'll make it worth your time. Uh, where was I? Oh, here we go. Uh, Rebecca and Amiri and Pow Panda, Sunny, Kirby Austria, Rupoki, and Breakshot, as well as, nope, yep, and Breakshot all say congratulations on monetization. Jack said, Ruse, my man. I'm proud you didn't burn down the kitchen. Hey, I'm just excited I didn't burn down the kitchen. They would have been real mad at me in our group tavern if I burnt that down. I'm not going to lie. Have we named the group tavern? I just realized I, I come to this one and the proprietor here definitely named it. Um, who owns that tavern? Is that Gerard's? Did he buy it with daddy's money or whatever? Did that little trust fund baby buy our whole tavern? I never really thought about it. I just kind of go there. Huh. Weird. Oh, well. Free drinks. <laughs> Not that I actually drink very often. Do you guys drink a lot? I feel like I only drink in like a social setting. And even then, I only really like champagne and wine and really big, strong, manly drinks like strawberry daiquiris and screwdrivers. Um, typically, I don't, I, I can't stand beer um, or fermented alcohols for the most part. I mean, I know all alcohols are fermented, but like, I guess like uh, grain based alcohols, I always feel like they taste really um, muddy almost or like. I can't describe it really. Thanks for the Crim Zupa and welcome in. But yeah, strawberry daiquiris go hard. I love strawberry daiquiris and screwdrivers are my go-to. I will drink screwdrivers all day, all night. No problem. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Morning Dew sent a heart. I will cut that in half of my axe. Don't you dare send me love. Uh, Queen Angel123 said, I love me some cookies. Cookie monster. Um, 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 um. Uh, Grace said, congrats on monetization. Let's get this bread. Cookie decoration. Vodka? I, I don't, okay, here's the thing. I can taste alcohol in anything and vodka especially I could taste in anything. Like even in screwdrivers and uh, daiquiris, people are like, you won't be able to taste this. It's so sweet. There's no way. There's no way you could detect any alcohol. It's like, it's like fruit juice. There is never, not once been a drink I have ever ever drank that is alcoholic that I did not taste the alcohol. I could detect it. It's like a hint of nail polish remover to me. Like I, I could smell it before I taste it anytime. Um, and maybe that goes back to like one time when I was a kid. Wait, is that trauma dumping? No, it's kind of funny. Well, I have a really bad habit of not knowing if a story is trauma or funny. Hmm. I'm going to tell it anyway. So when I was a kid once, <laughs> when I was a kid, my stepdad uh, tr uh, tricked me into drinking his fucking uh, rum and coke because he would constantly make rum and coke. And he would make like, I'm talking like nearly transparent, barely brown. Like, like he would pour like, you know, 
probably about two liters of rum and then splash Coke in there. And he would, had a bad habit of constantly doing it in like the styrofoam cups that you get at like horse stations where they feed your horses. Um, he would go in there and he'd like pour like a fuck ton of rum in there and then splash a little Coke. And I was like, hey, can I have a drink of your soda? He's like, yeah, sure. Took a drink of that shit. And I was all the way out in the front yard and no, I wasn't in the front yard. I was in the living room. And I was like, well, I can't spit this on the carpet. I'm going to get my ass kicked. So I just had to hold all that fucking rum in my mouth until I made it to the sink to spit it out. It was disgusting. And I'm talking this is like $2 cheap shit rum. Like, I'm, I mean, this was basically just hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer with a splash of Coke. And ever since then, I can detect the smell of alcohol from like miles away. Miles away. <laughs> <laughs> but I could tolerate it if there's enough fruity flavor to hide it. Uh, where were we? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I can't read that name. Damn it. Um, uh, shit. It's in, is that kanji? No, it's not. Um, I believe those are Mandarin characters, but I could be wrong. Anyway, congratulations on your monetization. Welcome to Hollow Stars. Looking forward to your future streams. My VOD hero, Ruse, here to help. Uh, Chrissy, Saya, 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 um, both say, hey, congrats on monetization. Hazardous mix, Mons for my least favorite idol. That's me, baby. I'm gonna scroll down these real fast on how many say congrats on monetization. Sarah Tony, mm, Ari, I wish I had wings, swing bow, Seishun, Finnaman. All said, congrats on monetization. And thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, cocktails are the go-to for sure. Uh, hopefully this is, I hope I'm doing this right, man. I really should have watched someone else's monetization or super chat reading stream. I watched Octavio's, but I'm like, fuck, am I doing this wrong? This isn't, is this fun? Are we having fun? Are you guys cool with this? <laughs> this is kind of just a Zatsudan, right? I'm cool with it. I'm enjoying myself just kind of shooting the shit, sharing stories and stuff and talking. Um, cool. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. Fuck, man, I really got to figure out. Oh God. All right, this is fine. I'm fine. We're fine. We're doing great. I'm doing this. This is so normal. Uh, Cardino West said, nice apron. Thanks. I, uh, made it myself. No, I didn't make it myself. I did not make it myself. <laughs> I commissioned that. I mean, I bought it from the store. Thank you for the Crim Zupa. I will, pro I will, I will definitely read that. Don't worry. I'm going to read that. So do, okay. Here's a question. I heard from someone that most people read their Supas at the end of stream. Like, uh, or maybe it was like JP Senpais read their Supas at the end of stream. Is that like the standard practice? I feel like I definitely going to be able to just keep up with it during stream like I could just do it while I'm while it's happening like not now because I'm reading other supas but you know like usually like there's no I'm a fast reader I'm just gonna try to keep up with it during streams but not this stream obviously I mean this is special this is a special stream this is a special case bum, bum, bum. Bambi Twila Boogeyman a Mog Fails, also known as GB's Titty Protector, and MH, or Monster Hunter. Ziggy said, congrats on monetization. Thank you. Ninia said, hi, Roos. Hi, Ninia. Um, Singularity, and Indy, and Hannah, and Ryan all said, congrats on monetization. Thank you. Mari, the Scree-tuber, said. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, T Girl Leah said, Congrats on monetization, Ruse. You're so awesome. I try my best. Thank you very much. It said, Let's go! Ruru. Fuji. A banana. Banana. Uh, Kariko. Diana Hurtado. Andy Romo all said, Congrats on monetization. Keep being awesome, Ruse. Thank you. You're going to read a lot of interesting names as long as none of them are like, fucked up and evil it should be fine berserking the astartes champion i believe i believe that's the uh that's the spice marine champion said hey Roos, last two weeks have been crazy for me at work due to the holidays 60 plus work hours a week oh fuck i know how that is Woo! right before i uh got picked back up by armis i was doing a lot of odd jobs hunting things and i was also like unloading wagons for a living uh, so much work. It was like overnight wagon unloading as my main job. And then before I was doing that, um, when I was living in another region of Southern Elysium, I was working like two jobs and a half. Huh. I don't miss that. Anyway, I feel you. I feel you, gamer. It's not fun. But hey, here we are now. 
Uh, so I wanted to send something as thanks for helping me through it all. I don't know how I helped you, but you're welcome. Um, you know what helped me when I was unloading wagons, actually, is I was listening to a lot of, uh... <laughs> you're never gonna believe this, but once Armas picked me up, I was like, hey, if I'm gonna do this idol thing, I gotta do it right. So I started absorbing a lot of, um, Tempest content to try and figure out, like, how this was supposed to go. Um, which I've done a terrible job of emulating, um them and living up to the example they've set, but I'm trying my best. But I listened to a lot of uh, National Tempest radio. That was always really entertaining. It helped me get through my day. Like I'd put in like one of my little AirPods and I would just unload the wagon while I was listening to that. So that was a lot of fun. I hope we get more episodes soon. I'm looking at you, Hero Senpai. Give me those episodes. <laughs> that and I would listen to a lot of Mabim Bam. Thank you for the crib Zupa. Welcome back in, by the way. Uh, where are we? Okay, defeatable airman. Get money on, nerd. Chaco said, congrats on monetization. I love your aid friend. And Hiki said, take my pocket change, Roo. Happy monetization, you strange goober. <laughs> I'll admit to being strange, but I'm no damn goober. Um, Misery79, Cassandra, and Cybev said, congrats on monetization. Shiori Pawn said, congrats on monetization. Wish I could catch your streams more. You're cool. Hey, listen, you don't have to be here live. Just watch the VOD. It's all good. Uh, but thank you very much. Um, I guess it's nice to know that people, for some reason, want to watch me. Dude. <laughs> what am I doing? What are we doing right now? What is going on? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just hits me how absurd this is sometimes. I'm like, am I just... It, feel, it feels like I'm here in a room with like a bunch of people watching me and I'm talking to you, but like you're only writing on a piece of paper and sliding it over and I look at it and then I look you back in the eyes and I'm like, okay, so anyway, like that's how we're holding our conversation. But on the same hand, sometimes I look around and I'm like, but I'm alone. <laughs> how absurd this is, right? <laughs> it's nice. I like it. It's comfortable in a really strange way, but it, it is good. It is good. <laughs> It's comfortable in like a very familiar and yet somehow still like almost alien way. It reminds me of Halcyon days when you were sitting on like your couch with your buddies, you know, and you were all just sitting around playing like, I don't fucking know, uh, Halo 3 or some shit. <laughs> Everybody's eating Doritos and pizza rolls, but you're not like, you're not saying anything emotional. You're not like having these big moments necessarily, but you, you know somewhere in your core, like deep down in your soul, these are the days you're gonna look back on and you're like, yeah. Yeah, that was it. That was when I was at peace, when I was most comfortable. <laughs> Sometimes it can feel like that. Like I'm sitting on a couch with like a couple hundred people or a couple dozen people or whatever, just watching over the edge of the couch. <laughs> uh, anyway, where were we? Uh, unenthusiast, uh, my, Mihon all, uh, said, congratulations on monetization. Mirage said, child support for little Timmy. Congrats on monetization, Ruse. Cute outfit. Please let us shower you with love. Never. Love, Rusaders. You can go on Rusades for me. That's how you can show your love. Go forth and conquer the troubles in your own life. That's how you can show me love. Show yourself love. Uh, Lyra Lonerheart said, congrats, bro. Uh, Praxina said, love in the apron. Congrats on monetization, Ruzi. Ruzi. <laughs> wow. Uh, Orion Valiant and... Paper Fay and Knights Regalia and Hyperstate said, congrats on monetization. Thank you. Uh -huh. Wait, Paper Fay says, take this as my application for the position of Glucose Guardian. All right, I'm a lot of trouble though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That'll be $600 billion, please. Uh, where were we? A banana, again, said, been having a blast since you debuted. I can't wait to hear more monologues. Please give Zephyr a kiss for me too. I'll consider it. Zephyr is, uh, where is Zephyr right now? Where are you, Zephyr? Zephyr? Nope. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi! <laughs> Zephyr's not feeling a kiss right now. Zephyr's being a little cagey. Sorry, I tried. I gave it my best shot. It is what it is sometimes. I mean, it's just not happening. It's like when your 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 dog doesn't want to be pet. You know, sometimes you just gotta give him that space. Uh Lamo and James Lovelance, Astral Omen, Surrey. James again, but this one's not Lovelance. This is James with a Y. Bastra all said, Congratulations. Thank you very much. Quark says, please keep talking. I'll keep listening. Hey, if there's one thing you can count on, it's that I'll never shut my fucking mouth. I will continue to spiral and babble incessantly like some sort of strange gibbering mouther until the earth 
stops rotating and Elysium falls back into space into the infinite void of entropy. I will continue to babble. I will provide the power and the heat and the rage that the universe needs to continue running for millennia to come. Um, another name I can't read. Sorry, I cannot read those characters. Said, congratulations, Ruse, which by the way, if this is in kanji, I will learn to read kanji at some point. I promise. I've been poking around at learning to read hiragana. Uh, I'm not great at it yet, but I'm getting there. I learned um, a couple things, uh, but not a lot, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Once we get uh, membership going, I'm going to start doing uh, maybe Duolingo or something and keeping up on that. So we'll see how we do. Language practice stream, maybe? I could try. I could do like a Duolingo stream or like a... I don't know how it's structured is the problem. I don't know how I would structure a stream for language learning without a structured app or course set out before me. You know what I mean? I guess I could see if somebody who knows Japanese and English fluently could... Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Lingo deer? I'll take a look at something like that. Some senpais did it? Hmm. Axel, maybe? Axel's kind of a busy guy, from what I understand. I don't think I would uh, want to bother Axel to sit down and teach me Japanese. Also, I mean, knowing a language and teaching a language are two very, very different things. So, uh, it depends on how confident he would be as a teacher. Ryo Senpai? Uh, possibly. I mean, it's not impossible. It's just a lot to ask of somebody to take the time out to do that, you know? Hmm. Play Pokemon or something like that in another game in another language? Yeah, that's possible. I could maybe do something like that. It'd have to be a game I know inside and out, though, so I could kind of translate on my own. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, congratulations, Ruse. Sato says, congrats on monetization. Hold on. I might be able to read this one. Uh, this is in Hiragana, I believe. Uh, bo, bo, boka, bokya, bokyacha. No, that can't be right. Go Kyacha. Anyway, they said, congrats on monetization. Fu Ame said, Gap Moe Ruse. No, I am not Gap Moe. I learned what that means and I am not. I'm just full of hate. Uh, Ariat Flames says, let's get this cookie gamers. And CUNY said, congrats Ruse. Wah, bah, 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 bah. Uh, Lynn, line, Tendo said it's time for the best idol and his beautiful cookies. Beautiful is a strong word, but okay. RCE says always prepared. Damn straight I am. Evie Zarin said your apron's cute. Your cookies look great. Congrats on monetization. Oh, you should have seen that first batch. It was, I guess I showed you a few. They were, they were pretty burnt to be fair. They were pretty burnt, Um, but let's see. Oh, I've got a couple I can group up here real quick. Uh, thank you and big shout out for the congratulations to Hooney, your boy Steven Adams, Kevin, Hammy, Mika, Bashful Tomato, AM, uh, Koga, Wolf Fang, Ivy Huang, uh, Let, nope, I lied. That's as far as it goes. Thank you very much for the congratulations and the super chats. Uh, Lesby Bun said the battle armor, definitely the most important part. Damn straight, baby. You got to wear whatever armor suits the mission that you're on, which for me is usually just my crimson coat, but it depends. I mean, I've been known to don full plate when the, when the opportunity strikes and I've been known to don my light cloth when I got to do a little bit of sneaking around. Uh, Kelly Ed's a Ed, not Ed. Kelly a said <gasps> ruse, our wife. I don't have a wife. But what do you mean? Ruse our wife what? I know I, it's like did Timmy fall did, did our wife fall in a well? Who's our wife? Are they okay? Does she need help? What happened? <laughs> Roro -ro, baby! Uh Ale Song, the brewer. Ale Song's a fucking dope name for like a drunken master or a tavern keeper. Uh sorry. Ale Song, the brewer, Roro -ro, baby, CTS1 all said congrats. And Nina Pedia said, love the bacon armor, dude. Uh, Inchel's writer, Abby Alpaca, all said congrats on monetization and thank you very much for the congrats and the supas. I'm doing it. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring out how to do this. I'm already halfway through. Uh, 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 Abby said congrats on the monetization ruse. I love hearing about the things you enjoyed. I can't wait for more. Oh, great. Well, get ready because you're going to be, you're going to be hearing a lot more of it. Ryder Inchel's, uh, the fudge sickle, Florence Shondo Soso, 
Zombie Mike uh, all said, congrats, Ruse. And someone else said, let's go. Kama said, better read fast, Cookie Man. I'm trying as hard as I can, okay? I'm reading. I'm reading. Ryan H said, congrats. And Casper, formerly known as Puka, said, the place setting is so cute. You're doing great, sweetie. Or is that sweaty? I think that's sweetie. You're doing great, sweaty. <laughs> Uh, Serena W said, I have, my, have my money, least favorite idol. Thank you. Um, I guess. I think. Uh, Utatane said, congrats, Ruse. Uh, and Mars said, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what? Nothing's wrong with me. Just kidding. Um, sweaty is funny or sweaty for sure. I'm sure that's what it was. My most sweaty idol. Your most sweaty idol has got to be. Who's the one who talks about sweating the most? Is it Gold Bullet? It's probably Gold Bullet, right? Maybe it's Gerard. I know a couple of us won't shut up about sweating constantly. Karaoke win? Never. Not unless I'm desperate. Actually, I've been thinking. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I have to figure out something to do for membership. Could I do a karaoke stream? No, I couldn't. Because I can't do unarchived for a membership stream, can I? Oh man. And I can't sing in Japanese. Never mind. I lied. Ignore what I just said. Not happening. Um, no, I can't because it's un. It, it has to be unarchived. No, I can't. I can't. Don't say. Don't say you can. Stop it. You're lying. You're lying. No, those are copyrighted songs. No, I can't do that. No, you're just trying to bait me. You're trying. I see what you're doing, Rusaders. You're trying to get me bonked. <laughs> nice try, baby. Green Day. I could consider doing some Green Day, maybe. I would, I mean, I feel like I could do like, I don't know, I don't sing a lot. Uh, Maybe Green Day, maybe some Ludo. Mm. I don't know. Britney Spears? <laughs> Bloodhounds, maybe. Uh, Maybe. Screamy Metal Stream, let's go. Mm, Screamy Metal Streams, it, it takes a lot of skill to be a metal singer. Like, I don't know how Haka does it. it you really got to have vocal training to do that. Or at least a lot of practice. And I'm, I mean, maybe, maybe. Don't don't expect a lot from me on karaoke is what I'm saying. Uh, we'll see. Unarchiving a Meshi Stream is totally okay? Huh. Toxic? I could maybe do that. Uh... Tomorrow, I'll do I'll do my toxic cover tomorrow. <laughs> That's not true. Metallica, I'll do Master of Puppets since it's like 50 minutes of a uh, lead up. I loved that scene in. Uh... All right, I'm gonna go on a quick tangent. No, I'm not even going on a tangent. I'm just gonna say, I miss you, Eddie. <laughs> I loved that scene in Stranger Things, but no. Uh, uh, but no spoilers. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I loved that scene in Stranger Things. Anyway. Um, you know, I really never listened to Metallica much. I feel like I felt like that was like dad music, which is a shame because I do think they're good. I, I listened to them more recently. It's very good. It's very good. Um, but I, I'm trying to like go back and listen to a lot of stuff like that, like uh, Metallica and um, what's another one that like I kind of ignored for a while for no reason. Uh... I don't know. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk. I, I'm getting distracted. Shit. All right, let's keep moving. Um... Su sub? No, Sub Arashi, not Sub Arashi, said, uh, nothing, but thank you for the super chat. Uh, Bunny Hugger said, congrats on monetization. Those cookies look really good. You even got a scribe tool for spreading the frosting and making designs. Damn straight. Uh, pl nope. Plumesary. I'm thinking it's Plumesary, like a plume. Like a plume on your helmet, like a plume of feathers. It could be Plumesary. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, said, congrats on monetization. I have so much fun watching your streams. Here's to many, many more. I hope so. Um, Adora, I mean, Manly. Yeah, it is Plum. Plum Zary. Got it. First try, baby. I'm so smart. I'm not that smart. I lied. I said I thought it was Plum. But Plum it is. Uh, Hail or Haley. Haley. Nope, it's Haley. Uh, said, happy monetization, gamer. Blue Davidil said, Adora, I mean, Manly. Shrimpy Zay said, the Gap Moe. Jaybo said, mail fail. Sleepy Slowly, Spud Spudnik, and Kimbit, and Aristella, and Manny Soul Caddy, Ricky Gomez all said, congrats on monetization. And Morning Dew said, let's go, Ruse, the master baker. That is me. I'm the best baker that ever lived. 
Thanks for rekindling my love of solo MMO play. Good luck, Ruse, says 7071. Listen, if I don't do anything else here as a streamer, if I can kindle your passion in anything, that's what I'm here to do. I love talking about like indie games or like off-brand ways of playing games or even like mainstream games that maybe you've grown to hate over time because of like the competitive nature of today's gaming market. If I can make you like learn to have fun with those and find a form of escapism and like a place to go that's like comfortable for you again and a way to enjoy those, that's all I'm really looking for. I think that's why a lot of people have turned to like tabletop games because it's so low stakes now. It could be high stakes if you lose a character you care about, but there's no real like desire or push or drive to be competitive in those games anymore. Not anymore, rather like like it is in like the modern video game market. Um, so I think a lot of people are running away from video games and toward tabletops because it is kind of recapturing that feeling of I'm just playing this game to have fun and be around people and have a sense of community. And uh, I think you can still get that with video games. It's just, it depends on how you consume it and the people you surround yourself with. Um, but I love talking about like indie games that deserve more attention when I can and when I get perms to do it. <laughs> Please! Please! I want to play Skull the Hero Slayer so bad. I fucking love that game. Um, but we'll talk about that more later. Anyway, if I can get you back passionate about games again, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm aiming for. Am I allowed to play Divinity or Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate 3, yes. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, I don't know. Divinity Original Sin, probably because Larian Studios, I'm assuming... Uh, seems to be pretty open to, you know, being contacted. So probably, I don't know. I haven't checked, so I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't even know how much I'm allowed to talk about that. But I don't know that I would do a playthrough of those games because they are so fun, but so story-driven. And I struggle to play story-driven games on stream. Not because I don't like them, but because I feel like, I feel like, here's the thing. It hits that strange space in streaming where it's like, some people don't watch because it's slow paced. Some people don't watch because they want to play it and have their own experience with it and they don't want spoilers. And some people don't watch because it has diminishing returns the longer you watch it. The, like if you miss an episode, right? Like you feel like you're out of the loop and then you feel left out. And then I feel bad because you feel left out. Um, and then you're like, ah, I'm just not going to watch the rest of the series because like I already missed out. So why would I bother? You know what I mean? Like it's tough. It's tough to do story driven games. Like one day I want to play Tales of Symphonia on stream. But I'm aware that like the way story-based games like that and JRPG stuff goes is that if you miss an episode, you tend to just kind of like not watch the rest. And that's not bad. That's not your fault. I don't I don't blame you at all. Um, and also like, I don't want to be the person who drags you into spoilers because a lot of people are going to see that and be like, well, now I just want to go play that. You know what I mean? I will read that soon, Wolf Rain. I promise. Thank you for the uh, soup. Uh, for the soup. Mm, good soup. All 9,000 taste buds. Mm, good soup. Uh, but anyway, that's how it is. I'm not saying I wouldn't play a story-driven game. At some point, I probably will. Like, at, at some point, as a content creator or streamer or whatever the fuck you want to call me, um, and you guys, I mean, I know a lot of you guys make content and stuff too. Um, as somebody who's an entertainer, you kind of have to, like, accept that it's about doing things you're passionate about. And, um... You just kind of ignore the, the meta of it. Kind of like ignoring the meta in games, you know? Like, they, they, you want to be conscientious of the people who are participating and watching and hanging out, but you still got to entertain yourself, right? So, like, I'm going to play Dragon's Dogma, even though I know that's going to have the same effect where a lot of people are just going to be like, I'm not going to watch this because it's too slow or, like, um, it's an action-y game, but it's like, you know, sometimes it could be a while before the story progresses, but I love that game's combat and I have never beaten it and I want to beat it. So I'm going to do it for me. And if you want to be here, that's awesome. If you don't want to be here, I don't hold that against you. That's cool. That's totally fine. Like, uh, you only have so much time in the day and you should use it, you know, as you please. I'm excited for whoever wants to hang out and watch and participate with me. Um, but I'm never going to force anybody to do that. And I definitely don't begrudge anybody doing that. Um, anyway, where were we? Uh, Zyre Sire or Zir Seer said, congratulations. I'm sure the cookies will turn out great. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Melman said, congrats on monetization. I liked your video. Can't wait to see how the cookie decorations turned out. Ah, uh, well, uh, I'm talking from the future here. Sorry in advance. Sorry uh, post emptively about that. Dark Arrow said, the battle made outfit suits you well. Hell yeah, it does. Nani Chan said, you too cute. My heart can't handle it. I'm going to assume you misspelled uh, terrifying, and that's okay. I get it. Sometimes it's hard to spell. Uh, we'll get you a dictionary soon. I'll help you out. 
Fan Fan Key or Fan C said, "So cute, so wholesome, yet still so chaotic." Happy monetization. DH Foster said, "Super chats are free, boys. Hit them up." By definition, no, they are not. But I appreciate that and the misclick you clearly made and how you definitely didn't read before you hit that super chat because that was not free. Um, but thank you for the support. <laughs> Nudo uh, or Ni Nudo said, congratulations on the monetization ruse. Nice apron. It was fun watching your streams these past two weeks. Oh, I'm sorry that those are the only two you're ever going to catch. You will be missed. Rip. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Emily Shunan Shunanian, again, uh, by the way, I know I read that name earlier, said my favorite uh, McArmis singer, Gerard T. Rexford. What's a McArmis? But fair enough. Uh, Eggman, I am the Eggman. It's what I am. Said congratulations on monetization and good luck decorating those criminals slash your gin mates. Um, Cultural Mishap said, I'd like to place an order for a baker's dozen. Congratulations on monetization. Hey, listen, I cut those I cut those cookies up to share, all right? You just have your own. Uh, Ka Katamari, Michi, Squared Toe, Miratris, um, Aura, Angelique, Ra, Apipo, <laughs> Apipo, and Ayer, Fir Tree, Vase, or Vaz, depending on who you are and how, <laughs> what's the word, uh, bougie you want to be. And Psycho Chicky all said, congratulations, my dude. Akira Sky said, congrats on monetization, Ruse. You're so cute and lovely and definitely not my favorite. Hey. I'm starting to think you guys don't think I'm scary or mean or off-putting. What the hell? What the hell? Listen, I'm an asshole, okay? You totally are? Thank you. How can you, how can you be like, you're cute. Look at me, I'm a, I'm a dick. I'm just a 24 seven like curmudgeon. I, I'm basically like the equivalent of an old dude sitting on his lawn with a shotgun being like, get out my property, but on the internet. What do you mean I'm cute? <sighs> you know what? Maybe you're just like slow to catch on. I'll give it time. Listen, give me, give me a little bit. All right. I, I, I'm young yet. I'm young yet. I know I was born two weeks ago at you know, the same age that I was at a billion years ago or whatever. Um, just just give, me, give me a chance to disappoint you before you make a judgment call, okay? Give it time. Give it time. Uh, anyway, Nessa says, looks just like him. Congrats on monetization. Knox said, Master Baker Ruse. Uh, sh shade Mellow. Nothing. Dizzy. Sigma Soul all said, congrats on Supas and congrats on monetization. I'm glad you would eat those cookies, Dizzy. Thank you. Uh, someone's got to. I've been munching them nonstop, trying not to waste them. Uh, Dodo Baby, or Roro Baby, <laughs> is back again with a, you're a pro. Uh, also, this is weird. This is not my 10th super. I don't think that was your 10th. That was your third? No, second. Second. Uh, Chi Yi Go said, congrats on monetization, Ruse. Look forward to your future streams, uh, your streams in the future. Welcome to Hollow Stars. That's my pizza, Verdandy. Verdandy? Why do I feel like I know that name? Reminds me of an anime I liked once. What was it called? I So when I consume anime, I tend to only watch anime by binging it when I'm sick. And I'll sit there and just watch the entire anime throughout the day that I'm sick on. And I watched one that I really liked. It wasn't for Dandy. I feel like I know the name for Dandy from somewhere. It was Gargantia. I really liked Gargantia. Gargantia on the Verdant Earth, I think it was called. I thought that was a good one. I really liked that. What's Bell Dandy? What is that? Ah, my goddess. Is that is that an anime? Bell Bell Dandy. Bell Dandy. It's a cute name. I don't. Oh, it's an anime character name. Okay, okay. An oldie. Oh, then yeah, I definitely I I I know what that is. I just forgot. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, yes, I know what that is. Uh, but keeping it moving. Uh, not a space alien. Jabakol uh, in Zhu said, congrats on monetization. Thank you. 
Uh, Mushroom King said, congrats on monetization. You look cute in your baking armor. Yes, I do look dangerous. Oh, you meant cut. I look cut. I like your cut, G. Same. I do look cut in that baking armor. Uh, Vince ba Bachelor, but with a T for some reason, said, Gap Moe is so wide, it can be called the Canyon Moe. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Kingdom said, I asked you once jokingly, why are you like this? But I enjoy how entertaining you are. Keep it up, Mr. Ruse. I'm like this because I'm built wrong. I came out the box wrong. My poor mama popped me out and the doctor said, what the fuck is wrong with this little gremlin? And then I punched that doctor in the nose. I didn't come out crying. I came out swinging. <laughs> Jelly Fuku said, baking armor so cute. Congrats on monetization, Ruru-chan. Uh, Vicriel said, this is the greatest thing ever. That must have been when I picked up the axe and started cutting cookies. A couple of you guys seem to think I had a hatchet. That was not a hatchet. That was a two-handed axe. That was a full woodcutter's axe. I bit into that baking board. Also, that cutting board? Oh my god, it held up so nice. It's got chunks missing now, but it did hold up. I was excited. Yeah, that was a full axe, capital A. That was a two-handed woodcutter's axe. Uh, it's not as big as Zephyr, but I mean, it was like a nice four pound axe. And I, would, I know what you're thinking, four pounds, that's pretty light, I could pick that up. Yeah, you could. But when you swing four pounds of concentrated metal and all of the weight is at the end of that weapon, that's a solid axe. That is a wood splitting axe. Um, aiming that, by the way? Woo, at that little cookie? That's a little different than just cutting up a corruption beast. I mean, my accuracy is not bad, but damn. Uh, I was like, whoo, okay, I'm glad I'm landing these cuts. Rest in peace, cutting board coon. Of course I keep an axe on hand, always. <laughs> an axe, a sword, or a knife. I've got a, uh, am I allowed to say, you know what, I think I'm allowed, I think I'm being a little cautious sometimes because I'm a little nervous about getting bonked, but I think I'm allowed to talk about IPs. I have a replica Boromir sword on my wall because Boromir's the best. That shit, that's heavy. No wonder they called that dude like a fucking mountain or whatever in the books. That dude wielding that sword one-handed, that is clearly a hand and a half sword. Like it's not long necessarily, but it is truly an arming sword in that it tapers really heavily toward the point. Like it starts out very thick at the base of the handle, like where it is attached to the tang and it tapers down. But that extra metal near the base gives it a ton of weight, makes it a good hewing sword. Um, but it's heavy. Like, wielding that one-handed, I get why that dude was so buff. Plus a shield, woo, you underestimate how much a shield's gonna weigh on you after a while. Like, it's fine for the first 20 minutes, an hour or so of fighting, but after a while, that shit starts to wear on that arm. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, it's cool as hell. Someone bought it for me once. Something tells me Ruse knows about Hema. I'm not like super versed in Hema. I know enough, but I don't know a lot about it, no. Do I LARP? No, uh, I don't like, okay. You know what, we'll talk about this on another stream. I gotta keep the super chats going. Well, remind me to talk about LARP later. Um, I don't mind LARP, I think LARP's cool. It's just, I prefer Amped Guard uh, if I had to pick because I'm allowed to get more physically violent and people will get more physically violent with me. Um, much more tackling and headshots allowed and kicking shields and you know, shit like that. I'm allowed to like shield bash, so I like that. Uh, but anyway, we'll talk about that later. Uh, Lennon said the artistry is insane. Someone needs to stop this man. Nice. Lane said, Lane, the Banshee, Oracle on Fire, Lynn, Strix, Crescia, LRR, and Haki, Resting Doe, all said, congrats on monetization. Haki also, Pacey, also said, the axe and a bow really adds a festive vibe to this adorable stream. Yeah, I thought, like, why not do cookies? Because tis the season. And I typically don't celebrate um, Christmas a lot, just because, I don't know, I've never really been, like, I skipped out on a lot of holidays in my life. Like, I tend to skip birthdays and Christmas and stuff like that just because I'm not big on, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't mind being the center of attention when uh, I want to be. When, but when it feels like an obligation, I don't enjoy it. Like, I've always kind of, like, laid low and avoided people on my birthdays and stuff like that. Uh, but um, I thought, you know, I'm not super comfortable with holidays, and I've, I've missed out on a lot of those in my time. So this is the perfect chance to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone and do something I'm not used to and uh, add on cookie decorating and baking. Hell yeah, baby, let's get it. So I was like, this seems festive. Let's do it. Also, I want to chew cookies. You, well, you you take those Armist cookies. You eat them. Those are all yours. <laughs> um, let's see. Ra Ra Raikiki. Ra 
Raikachu, 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 um, said, congrats on monetization. Curious Katze said, Ruse is the perfect crazy to cute ratio. Yeah, that's right, because I'm 100% crazy and 0% cute. Let's go, baby. Uh, kitty cat in a bag said, congrats on monetization. I'm a bit annoyed that you're better at uh, baking and cookie decoration than I am, but I'll get over it. Uh, that's just that first time. Listen, one thing you're going to learn about me is that I have incredibly bad luck, but I was blessed with incredible... Um, my skill floor is very high in almost everything I do. I start out very good at almost everything, but I can master almost nothing. I am like exceptional at uh, being a really good beginner on things. Um, but I struggle to stay interested in something long enough to really truly master it. Um, so typically like if I pick up a game like Smash Bros or whatever, I'll absolutely dominate for the first few years that I'm playing it. But then somebody who like goes to like actual tournaments and stuff will find me and be like, all right, you're done, son. <laughs> and I get absolutely floored and that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. There's very few things I've stuck with long enough to really, really get good at it. And I'm kind of all right with that. I'd rather be like sort of a Da Vinci in person where I uh, pick up a lot of different skills and I have a good baseline with all of those. My interests change a lot. Yeah. Um, where were we? Uh, Shade Mello said, you and your cookies are such a cutie. Incorrect. The cookies maybe, but thank you. Uh, Eno, Silent Stormfall. Iwashi, or is that Iwashi? Uh, Mint Tea, Imperial Dropout, Cardina West, Mori all said, congrats. I lied, Cardina West said, axe skills. Sur Suri said, for the axe. And Imperial Dropout said, very much looking forward to watching your adventures through Elysium. Your explanation of in-game lore is always a treat. Would love to sit in just listening to you world build one day. I might do something like that. I could play like World Box or uh, Mappa Imperium or Dwarf Fortress maybe or Songs of Six and do some world building off that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe I could do, I, 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 if I run a D&D campaign for Hollow Stars, I would want a world build on stream, but I really can't trust the other boys not to like peek in if they want spoiler information. And it's not their fault, necessarily. I don't think anybody would do it maliciously, but it's hard to resist when you know the info's right there. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Who knows? Why not make it a membership? Oh, my. You, you, you fucking geniuses. Wait a minute. That's genius. I love that. Okay, cool. Cool idea. Um, anyway... Ray Slay says, you are my least favorite streamer. Thank you. And my favorite. Well, that doesn't really work out, but that's all right. I don't typically like streamers or video games, but you've officially convinced me to love both just by watching your VODs. Thank you very much. Also, Jeff Starr said, congrats. Thank you for the Crimzoopa. Crimzoopa. <laughs> Roro baby with another one. So this is your third one, Roro. I'm keeping count. Said, thanks for the dismemberment stream. <laughs> and Quintol said, and my axe. Um, let's see. Julia said, congrats on member uh, monetization ruse. Galaxy Turtle said, let me ask you a question. Nathan Dirks said, hot dog, which I assume was toward hot dog Tavio. <laughs> hot dog Tavio. Og Tavio, is that how that works? Who knows? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> congratu uh, Yajino said, congratulations on monetization. All of them are very cute. Toodles said, congrats on monetization, Ruse. You handled an axe very well. Thanks. I've had a lot of practice with uh, Zephyr. Nani da fuck? <laughs> Nani? Nani da fuck? No, I'm not Hot Dog Tavio. <laughs> I'm sorry, Octavio. <laughs> I just, it was funny because I cut off your sides and you became like a little hot dog. Uh, my favorite VTuber with a dagger and an axe, said Wolf Rain. Um... Nora, Cassandra, Wolf Rain again, uh, Jano, uh, Kang Kong, all said congrats on the stream and congrats on monetization. Thank you very much. Uh, Trekkie140 says, Rouge, you are perfect and so are your cookies. I am perfectly unperfect. And so are all of you. Your imperfections are what make you perfect. Never forget that. And never stop striving to be better, baby. Ha! You know, people are often like, hey, Ruse, why are you such a perfectionist? Why do you hold yourself to such high standards? And I say, because as long as I'm holding myself to impossible standards, I'm always moving up. 
If I ever feel like I've, I've succeeded or I've made it where I want to be, then I know that I've given up on getting better. And I know that's sort of a pessimistic mindset, but if you if I have the mental fortitude to hang on to that, then I'm going to do that. And I'm not saying it's healthy. You should not do that. Uh, uh, cherish your victories. You know, find contentment where you can. But until I get to, like, the end of where I'm going, when I reach the end of whatever, like, lifespan I'm at, um, I'm just going to keep moving that bar up because I want to hold myself to such an impossible standard that eventually, hopefully, I can get to the point where I get close to perfection. I'll never make it. No one's perfect. But I can shoot as close as I can get. Uh, Moonshiro said, congratulations on the streams and the monetization. Uh, happy that Armas are here. You're fun. And having you, uh, having you having more fun. And here's to having you having more fun. Thank you. And success in the future. Thank you, Moonshiro. Honey said, with a creme zupa. Thank you, honey. Uh, thank you for two amazing weeks. I look forward to many more fun adventures with you. Oh, yeah? Well, I remember making a cool little honeycomb cookie out of your name. So thank you. Um, Peraidoli said, you're crazy. And I like that in a man. Um, uh, uh, thanks, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> Ruse fan. What did you mean by that name? And and what did you mean by that? Hmm. Bruce fan said, big fan. 07. Sarah Tony, or Tony for short, with a uh, Crim Zupa said, you know, I want to see the world burn. So you seem like the right man to support. You're right. I am just the right man to support for that one. <laughs> I see these. I, I see your supas. I promise I'm going to read them. I'm going to read them. Just give me time. Oh, no. We've already been going for an hour. I'm going. I'm going. We're so close to almost done with the ones from uh, yesterday. And then I'll get to the ones of the day. And then we'll play hunt. I promise we're going to get some hunt in today. I got to show you the spider. We're so close now. Just finish your lattes. We're getting close to the end of this. We got this, baby. Uh, but, you know, I'm actually kind of enjoying this. This feels like a nice sort of Zatsudan vibe. I like this a lot. Uh, hopefully, you guys are still on board. Keep your hands and feet inside the wagon at all times. <laughs> Sorry. I just imagine you guys waking up and you wake up to the horrifying sight of me sitting there across from you like, oh, you're finally awake. The Imperial God caught you at the border. <laughs> uh, Krauger said, congrats. Looking forward to many more adventures and membership. AK said, funds to being a horrible person. You're right. Uh, Arnulfo Mendez. Sorry, Arnulfo Nolfo Mendez said, funding the wretched God. Cool. <laughs> Rizzy says, congrats on getting monetized and belated welcome to Hollow Stars. Yes, I am funding more of this vileness. Thank you kindly. Uh, Dare Demo or Dare Demo Daisuki said, hello, Ruse. Enjoy watching you and the boys. Have fun. Looking forward to future streams. Mr. Krabs says, grats on monetization, gamer. Awesome fish said, powerful cookies. Tremendous strength. I don't know if I underestimated chat's power more than I underestimated... Um, I think I maybe overestimated how much I was going to, like, be an insufferable prick. I'm doing a bad job, but I'll get there. Don't worry. I'm still honing it. I'm still getting there. Don't don't worry. I'll protect you from me. <laughs> uh, let's see. The gnome silliest prophet said, I like your words. Funny, aggressive man. Warma Habuk said, heart, sleep slowly said, you need to appreciate yourself more. No. <laughs> Plum Zeri said, with a crim zupa, even if you think you sound like a garburator gargling gravel, I like your voice. I would love hearing your ASMR. I... Ugh. I'm really unconfident in the idea of, like, an ASMR stream, um, but, uh, at, uh, I mean, I don't, it, it, at some point, maybe that's just part of stepping outside my comfort zone. I'll, I'll figure it out. I mean, I, I sung Bloodhounds. I can, I could do that, probably. Uh, I made a voice pack, so, uh, I, I don't know. I don't want. I, I'm not gonna make any promises, but we'll figure it out later. It's possible. It's possible. I'll figure it out. Breakshot sent to Crim Zupa and said, "Amazing decorations." Thank you, Breakshot. Breakshot. Uh, Sarah Tony sent a bunch of ants, which does give me serotonin. Thank you, Tony. Cassandra said, "Love you, silly axe man," with a Crim Zupa. Thank you for another another super chat. I know Breakshot, Plumsary, and Cassandra. Those are more than one already. That's a lot. Knifing you ASMR? I can do that. Uh, Yumino Mausu said, uh, you're amazing. The stream is entertaining. Thank you. Uh, Roro baby with the fourth 
Supa. This one being a Krim Zupa. Said, how are you so adorable? I think, I think somewhere along the line, maybe I just got to being so like intolerable that I cycled back around somehow. Maybe I got to cut back a bit. Maybe if I lay off and I'd be less terrible. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, but thank you for the super chat. Uh, Lynn Devastron said, congrats on the, uh, congrats on the monetization. And Kina Hikawa appreciator said, he's a genius, an evil genius who can make cookies as the methods of assassination with an ax, a class genius. Amazing. Slurp Derp said, villain cookies, yum. And Detect said, your streams are always the highlight of my day. Thanks for the fun and smiles, Ru. It's <laughs> all. Ew, I mean, ew, ew, not all. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Rika Kuroi, Kuroi? Kuroi, uh, said, love the gig from Soul Nomad vibes. I've never watched Soul Nomad, sorry. Uh, I am on board for the chaos. And Egg, which I believe was my last Crib Zupa, so we're almost to the end, I think, said, Ant Nation, rise up! It's our time. Is, are, is Ant, eight? Is Ant Nation like AC Family? Is that like from Ants Canada? God, I love Ants Canada. So good. Is that... AC Family, welcome to a new episode. Today in the Ants... <laughs> Ant Nation, Ant Nation. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. I see, I see. To Magni Senpai. I did not know that was a reference. Was it... That's awesome. Anybody who's a fellow ant lover is all right in my book. That's cool. Um, good, good taste. Ah, uh, thank you for the crib soup. I will read that in a bit. Umi, thank you. Uh, Raven Revenant said, "Big axe man, big brain, big kawaii." But I'm assuming you misspelled kawaii, uh, not kawaii. Kelly A said, "Yay, you hate us, but we love you." Hmm. Nano Litore said, Ruse, you should make your own bakery with this. Uh, I'll stick to killing monsters, but thank you. Uh, Kimmy Dolls, Shadow Cross Zero, and Pooh said, congrats on monetization. And Saya, which I think is, actually, I, I believe that just says Saya, Saya. I believe that's hiragana for Saya and uh, English for Saya. Said, congrats on monetization, Ruse. I love hearing you ramble about different things. Your voice is so weirdly soothing. Hope you have fun in Hollow Stars. Also, no, you can't be my least favorite idol because you're my favorite now. Ah, fine. We'll figure it out later. Uh, and, oh no, I can't read that. Hold on. Uh, fuck. All right, I can't read that, but, but that was on this stream. So maybe you're still here. Um, said my first super to ruse. I'm Roasted Bunny. I love your laughter and happy vibe. Uh, and then they said something else. Uh, I believe in Katakana. They said, it means good luck to your streaming. Nope, it's in Mandarin. Chinese. Uh, it means good luck to your streaming in Chinese. Thank you very much. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up more supers from this stream. We're gonna read those real quick, and then from once I get to the end of that, I'll be able to just keep up uh, throughout the stream, and we'll be fine. Easy peasy. What the hell? What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa! There's a ton here. Wait a minute. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, all right, that's fine. <laughs> let's do this, baby. That's fine. We can catch up. All right, let's do this. Here we go. UN said, today and yesterday, I also cannot watch your stream. So I'd like to now provide the missing uh, SC from yesterday. Have fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Tomato Chan said, is this why they call seeing, Ru uh, is this what they call seeing Ruse through rose tinted glasses? JK, JK, put on your ruse tinted glasses, everyone. <laughs> uh, Umi, earlier in the stream, because I know that Umi was the last one a second ago, uh, said, congrats on the monetization, Ruse. Such a cozy stream. You can always pick great BGMs. Thanks. Uh, this one was actually uh, suggested to me, believe it or not. I was looking for a cozy BGM, but I didn't have a ton of time to look for it since I was wrapping... Uh, you know, my table and trying to figure out how to mix icing and stuff and bake cookies. So uh, credit actually goes to Chikamane for this one. I had to ask for help. Uh, typically I hate doing that, but um, it was actually found for me. Uh, Shodo Soso said, what's a supa? It's like soup, it's good soup. Mm, good soup. 
I'm hoping it means one who is like least Miss Mercurial. I can't be the best, but I can sure as hell be the worst. <laughs> Kelly A said, thank you for being a menace while I study. Hey, no problem. I'm here to help. I don't know how you could study while listening to this in the background, but good job. Saya is back again and said, offering you this text-based soup. I'm sticking my tongue out like a little cat drinking hot milk. <laughs> Thanks for the soup. <laughs> Finnerail, fit Finnerail, which sounds like an elven name, like a uh, Finfalad or something like that, uh, said, you can keep up with SC readings. Bold words for an entertaining man. I got no problem doing that. No problem. This is going to be the easiest game of my life. Um, Aquamiki said, congratulations on monetization, Ruse. Couldn't catch the celebration stream like uh, live, but the archive was great fun. Thanks for all the fun streams so far. Looking forward to your future activities as well. It's wild to me that people that go back and watch my past content. Um, so thanks for doing that, I guess. I I can't stomach it. I could do it live, but like, I'll watch my clips sometimes and every once in a blue moon, I'll say something that makes me laugh. But for the most part, I go back and I watch my content and it makes me want to pull my skin like right off my body. Like I want to shuck myself like a fucking corn cob. <laughs> and it's not like a self-deprecating thing necessarily. It's just when I do it, I have like, I have a pretty strong um, memory for things, like what I was thinking at the time, because trying to explain... Okay, here, let me... Okay, uh, this is going to take a second to explain. Um, come here, get, get close. Come here, come here. Get, get real close. So I'm holding your head right now. I'm holding your head and I'm talking at you. Um, so when I was little, uh, I would often go from like topic to topic so fast that my parents and like, uh, uh, you know, classmates and acquaintances and my siblings couldn't keep, keep up. And they'd be like, why were we like talking about pancakes and now you're talking about jello that, 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 and then now you're talking about velociraptors. That doesn't make any sense, Ruse. What's going on? So I'd have to be like, okay, well, we were talking about pancakes and that made me think about confectionaries and that made me think about sweet treats. And then I got to thinking about syrup and then I got to thinking about what if syrup was cold and that made me think about jello. And then I was like, would it have like a jello consistency or hard consistency? But then when I thought about jello, I thought about that scene in Jurassic Park with the raptors and the kids uh, in the, in the like convention center and they're eating the jello and the raptors come in. And then I thought, oh, it'd be really scary if there was raptors in my kitchen. Where would I hide from the raptors? So I had to like, figure out where my train of thoughts would go frequently to explain why I got to rafters from like pancakes. Um, so I've gotten really good at memorizing what uh, branch to branch to branch to branch I'm traveling on thoughts. Uh, so when I watch my old content, often I feel stilted or stupid or slow or not witty, I guess, because I'm like, man, I really just froze up there for a second, huh? Like, it seemed like I said something witty from an outside perspective, but I could see the gears turning in my brain. Uh, and I'm like, here's why, because I thought about this, and that made me think about that, and that made me think about this. But because I didn't, like, verbally travel those branches with you, it sounds like I just said something totally out of pocket like an idiot. <laughs> Uh, no, Omega Dad, you didn't miss gameplay. We're going to hit that in just a minute. Um, but anyway, <laughs> let's keep it moving. <laughs> uh, ADHD brain issues. I've never been diagnosed with ADHD or anything like that because I've never been able to go and get that diagnosed. But honestly, I'm just going to keep thinking about Rome and live peacefully not knowing. I'm almost certain I'm undiagnosed with a, a couple different things. <laughs> And I'm okay with that. I don't care. I don't need to, like, necessarily slap a label on it. I'm super chill with it. Uh, because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just ruse. It's cool. Like, it, it, would, uh, it wouldn't change anything to know. The same way it wouldn't change anything to know if I was, like, in an AI simulation. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I'm just living my life. So, it's chill. It's whatever. Spoiler, I don't actually think about Rome that much. But I do think about, like, I don't know picked warrior society <laughs> and the Celts. Uh, I think about a lot of stuff, but rarely Rome. I feel like Rome's overtouched on. Um, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Aquamiki said, congratulations on monetization, Ruse. No, oh, I already read that one, sorry. Crumple said, you could do voice packs telling us tales of your brave adventures hunting legendary creatures and baking said creatures. Hmm. That could be interesting. At the end of the day, that'd be more like grilling than baking, but that could be cool. Astra or Mar... Amartia, Am Amartia, Astra Amartia said, bold of you to underestimate the gamers, cool dude. Excellent. Here, have more Super Chat cooking funds. Get cozy, everyone. Morning Dew, welcome back, said, we celebrate daily here. Drown in soup. Hmm, <laughs> chicken noodle. Uh, Oran Dongo, nope, Oran Doggo, not Dongo, said, monetization time, baby. I can finally send you hate. 
love because you're my least fave most fave lol <laughs> nope that says idol oh i see bun with a bow said congrats on monetization have a happy holiday ruru thank you bun with a bow i will do my best uh kayane kayane said boo i'm a ghost ah! <laughs> just kidding uh meep said meep 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 chloe since i welcome back said congrats on a su successful monetization stream looking forward uh looking forward for all your streams Ruse. i'll be watching over your idle journey we're gonna be here for the long run sips coffee I'm glad to have you here. Hey, thanks. Let me get a sip of that. Uh, sips tea and bleach. Mmm, delicious. Gotta add a little bit of spice to that tea, you know what I mean? Tasty. Uh, said, congrats on monetization, Ruse. Looking forward to seeing you kick ass and be the greatest bastard Hollow Live has ever seen. Yeah! Uh, Betel's Juicy Toes. Huh. Ah, okay. Well, Betel's Juicy Toes says, congrats on making money now. Hmm. Well, gonna scrub my brain of that one. Hold on, let me just. Ah, can I borrow some of that bleach, sips tea and bleach? I'm just gonna roll that around in my brain cavity just a little bit. Let me just maraca shake that in there. Really get the inside nice and good. <laughs> yeah, that's better. All right. Um, Jastar, welcome back. Sent a cute little dog. Thanks. Uh, Ryder said. I think you'd like Buddy Simulator 1984. I haven't heard of that, but I'd try it out for sure. Snowy said, congratulations, Ruchan. Here's some soup for you. Thank you. That's delicious. Hold on. Emma Nahe, Emma Nahe said with a krim zupa. Thank you very much, by the way. Um, wasn't able to catch the monetization stream live, but congrats, you bastard affectionate. Uh, excited for membership and more streams. Hell yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do for membership Yet, I was thinking maybe like world building stuff, uh, maybe like, I don't know, I could figure out how to do some sort of unique uh, voice content or, I don't know yet. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Watch alongs? I can't really sit there and do watch alongs on a regular stream. Lord of the Rings binge? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, um, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. See, the problem with membership is I feel like it has to be worth it to you, and I can't really give you anything physical that's super good, so it feels like, kind of like shit. It kind of feels like just taking money. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll cook. Let me cook. Let me get in the kitchen for a while, and I'll figure out something that is worth your time. Promise. Uh, when are we d and Ding? I don't know. Do you want to play? I saw you had a D12. I was watching your, uh, your monetization stream, and I said, ooh. This puppeteer plays D&D. <laughs> no one owns a D12 unless they play D&D. A D20, maybe, if you're just a little dice goblin. But a D12, you play D&D. I know it. Um, where were we? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Bunny Hugger 410 says, Bastard, affectionate. Thank you. I have a question, and it's, have you ever played any Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and in particular, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, the Explorer ones? I played the first one. I absolutely loved it. I don't remember a goddamn thing about it, because I was a ba I was in a baby... I was not a baby. I was uh, not super... I was sick when I was playing. I was sick. We're going to say I'm sick. I was sick, and my brain was fucked up, uh, and I couldn't remember very well what happened during it, but I remember loving it. Uh, I played the most recent one, and I did not like it, so I was a little burned by that. It felt like it was coddling me and treating me like a fucking child. And maybe the first one was like that, but I remember the first one respecting my time and not treating me like I needed um, 50 tutorials and like it was Dora the Exploring me or whatever. Okay, Octavio, if you've never played, I mean, no problem. I'm, I, I promise you a spot. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you play D&D, &D, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, where was I? Bup, 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 bup. Your boy, Steven Adams. Thank you for the heart. Uh, Jelly Mouse said, congrats on monetization. Hoping to see more bacon slash cooking streams in the future. Um, I could see doing like cooking streams as maybe like a membership thing because I'm not like the world's best chef, but uh, I might, I might, maybe I'll just do like, is there things like community posts for membership? Maybe I could do like food pictures as a community post thing. Because I want to make me Bop again soon. Because what I do, right, is I take, like, um, I take sh uh, ground pork, and I do, I shred carrots into, like, carrot ribbons, and then I do a little bit of onion, a little bit of zucchini, um, and I cook that, uh, 
I, I don't know. Anyway, I make it fire. Add a little sriracha, some sesame powder. Or not sesame powder, sesame seeds. Um, it, it goes hard. It goes hard. It's delicious. Oh, and then I take, oh, I take scallions. Have you guys ever pickled scallions? If you take white wine vinegar and you cut up the scallion whites and save the greens on the side and then put the scallion whites in the white wine vinegar while you're uh, making your bibimbap, it makes these really, really good pickled scallions. And then if you pour that on top along with the juice, the pickle juice, um, oh, it goes so hard. It's so good. Uh, anyway, it gives it like this really nice contrast, uh, contrasting like pickled flavor to go with like the spice of the sriracha. It just, it fucks so hard. Oh God, I want it. I want to make it again soon. Um, anyway, I want to do that, but I'm usually too lazy to cook, uh, like every day. Like just today I ate fucking hot dogs. <laughs> I made myself some hot dogs. Uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe we might do food pictures in the future. Rabbit Mutt 87 with a cream zupa said, yippee. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm a creature. Uh, Juice said, Hi, Ruse. Late congrats for the monetization. Couldn't catch that cookie stream, so here you go now. Thank you very much. And Flame said, You've inspired me to continue drawing again. Thank you for being your funny self, and I look forward to more fun streams. Always draw. You don't have to be, like, the world's greatest artist, because drawing... Here's, here's the secret. Drawing is not um, born in. It's not like a talent you have. It's a skill you own. It's like, it's like exercising. Um... And I think I've seen your drawings, actually. You're already a good artist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen your drawings on Twitter. So yeah, draw. I'm glad. I hope you keep drawing. And it doesn't have to be for like Armis or whatever, or even like VTubers. Just draw for you. Just draw. Just enjoy it. It's just fun to put your uh, creativity down on paper. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not an artist, but, um, you know, I'm not like shy necessarily about drawing. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a good artist, rather. But like, I'll draw if I want to. Fuck it. I can't put on paper what my brain sees, but it's about learning that technique and getting that muscle memory, you know? Uh, Rin Yang, Rin Yangze said, homie, that was definitely trauma with a splash of coke. Oh no, it was trauma dumping. I have a very bad habit of accidentally trauma dumping when I mean to just tell a funny story. I'll tell you about all the times I almost died later or the three times I almost drowned or that time I almost got hit in the eye with a firework or that time I almost got hit by a wagon or that time well, anyway, we'll talk about it later. Um, anyway, there's a lot of funny shit there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Misuk said, with a Krim Zupa, uh, to the best slash worst bastard of Hollow Stars. Super enjoyed every single one of those streams these past couple weeks. Looking forward to more. Hell yeah! Thank you. Um, Wispy said, couldn't make it for the actual monetization, but congrats, Ruse. Let's go! Wahoo! <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> I gotta learn my Mario impersonations. Uh, also, thank you again for using my art for Slime Rancher 2 stream. It really means a whole lot, or it means the world to me. It was really sweet of you. Don't thank me for that. Don't. <laughs> Imagine thank, no, I mean like, thank you for thanking me. That's very sweet. Um, but no, you deserve the praise. You deserve the credit for that. You made art for, for, not for me, but you made art of me and you presented it in a position where I was allowed to use that. Um, you deserve the thanks. Um, anybody who ever draws me anything, like it's, it's sweet of you. And I understand the sentiment to be like, oh, thank you for like using my art. But, uh, that isn't like, a, I don't know. That's like, <laughs> you deserve the thanks for that. Uh, if I'm using your art, um, I'm thanking you. Thank you for uh, letting me use that, for, for taking the time out of your day to like put pencil to paper or like, you know, tip to screen or whatever the hell you want to say. Uh, because I don't know, like that's you taking the time out of your day to show appreciation, at least for my model mama's work and design um, or for like uh, entertainment value you've gotten, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you deserve praise for that. Don't, don't thank me for that. <laughs> I, it's sweet of you and I, I thank you for thanking me. How about that? Uh, where were we? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lily Gilly said, this super chat's chicken noodle. Mmm, I do like a good chicken noodle, but I don't like tomato-based soup. Don't give me that. Uh, late congrats on monetization. I'm so glad you're part of Hollow Stars. I've had such a great time watching your streams. Keep being awesome. Keep being you, Ruse. I'm gonna try. Bird Girl Cat said, don't get it twisted. You're still worst boy and our least favorite idol. Thank you. You understood the assignment. But you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Aura Angelique, welcome back, by the way. I, I already read that name, so I know you've already done this. Maybe it was yesterday. Uh, with a Krim Zupa, said, take your time getting to this, lol. This is the first Krim Zupa I've ever sent. And I'm just, uh, just wanted to let you know that your streams helped me get out of my art block, and I'm having a ton of fun with the streams, plus community. Thanks, boss. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. And I hope you're having a good time. I hope that leads you to draw on a bunch of stuff. Not just, like I said, not just VTubers, but stuff for you, you know? 
You put pen to paper and you just do whatever your whatever your muse is, whatever your inspiration is. Go for it. I think art's just really beautiful. Um, and I'm not afraid to say that. That's manly. It's manly to acknowledge the beauty in this world. Uh, where were we? Grace said, actually, we're in your walls. These walls suck. You're going to want to get out of these. There's not. It's not good insulation here. I'm not going to lie. This place is... Uh, it's not great, uh, but hey, that's on you. <laughs> T, Hanasaki D said, you're doing great on reading these supas. Hello, Riz, congrats on monetization. You may state that you're the least, fa uh, you're my, the least favorite idol, but you're perfectly flawed and enjoyable to listen to. Thank you. <laughs> you're perfectly flawed as well. Uh, Wolf Rain said, please sing Bloodhounds, and I love you very much. Best bastard I know. Congrats on a successful monetization. The using the dagger and axe was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. That was my uh, that was my giving myself a crutch. I'm like, I'm doing something I'm uncomfortable with, so I got to do something I'm comfortable with. And that's swinging weapons at things. <laughs> Audio Paco said, nothing but did send a super. So thank you very much for that. Um, I appreciate that. You just kind of slid that across the table wordlessly and looked me dead in the eyes and were like, Take that. <laughs> uh, Linen, I slapped the label of Kamiyoshi on your big forehead when all your hyperfixations lined up with mine. Excited to see your future content, you funky little creature. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if all my hyperfixations are gonna line up with you. I'm sure I've got one of them out there that's just super weird, but I'm glad you're I'm glad you're having a good time. Uh, Lane said, Yay! Free super chats! That wasn't free, Lane, sorry to tell you, but thanks. Uh, Haley said, numerically appropriate super for the meanest, scariest dude on the internet. Thank you for the 612. I saw what you did there. Um, Tarkat's birthday lining up. Let's go, baby. Layden Sparrow said, here's a Crimzupa. I'm not going to say a goddamn word, but I am going to slap this in your face. And you know what? Like a cat that you threw cheese onto, I will sit here with a... But imagine there's a $100 bill right there. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. I think Krim Zupas are that. I don't know. I don't do conversions well. Uh, but thank you. <laughs> uh, Fir Tree uh, said, thanks, with a purple heart. Thank you. Lonely Knight said, congrats for monetization, bro. Road to the membership. I'm on the way. Uh, Maki Jean said, it makes you more cute when you say you're scary. Well, then I'm not scary. I'm Adora Badass. Yeah. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? Yeah. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Hey, how many more are there? No, no, no shot! I just refreshed this! Okay, we got this. It's okay. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Nice. Umi, thank you for the Krim Zupa. Said dedicating my first Krim Zupa, Red Zupa, to my Kamiyoshi. You deserve all the love and celebrations. <laughs> I mean, er. I mean, er. Uh, <laughs> we celebrate you every day. Thank you, Umi, for the Krim Zupa. <laughs> Um, uh, Die V Dark didn't say anything, but did drop off a, a super. So thank you for the good soup. Uh, Robot Peter 101 said, You're a loose cannon, but goddamn, you get results. He's a loose cannon, but goddamn, he gets results. Thank you, uh, boss. <laughs> RNI said, You're my, uh, you're my favorite insufferable, lovable jerk. Wait, uh, I hate you? Am I doing this right? Please teach me to hate like you do. See, the trick is you just have to feel, be filled with like the, the 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 sum of all of the welling hate that has ever bubbled up within the underground springs of your wrath in your life. You just have to let all of that just like sort of like make its vitriolic way to the surface, so that you can spew all of that all of that uh, rage out into the universe. Okay. What if I don't have that in me? Um. I guess you could just go read the comment section on YouTube. That could make you pretty angry. Not my stuff. Everybody's super nice there, but like somewhere, right? Like just find a polarizing opinion place and watch how intolerant and angry people are. <laughs> uh, thank you for the super. Uh, Alistair Jones, great art, by the way, Alistair Jones, uh, said, I think you're neat. Welcome to Hollow Stars. I hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you. And thank you for the flex. 
Wolf Rain said, uh, get well soon after you get your wisdom tooth out Wednesday and enjoy the rest of Thursday. We all hate you. Thank you. I was originally going to stream Thursday, but uh, the other boys in armor were like, hey, that's probably a bad idea. You're probably not going to be up to it. I'm like, I'm up to anything. And they said, no, really, like, don't do that. So I said, okay. Uh, so I'm giving myself two days. I figured that's enough, right? Like two days, eh, fuck it. If, if it hurts, it hurts. I mean, I'm like right now being... Uh, with enough caffeine and enough uh, tolerate tolerating the pain, enough pain resistance, fuck it, I'm here having a good time. How bad could it be, right? <laughs> I can handle it. Um, but thank you very much. Annette Star said it's soup season. Hell yeah, it is. That's the that's the best particle weather. It's soup season. Um, Bunts and Barry said drop scalding hot soup on you. Oh yeah. Well, watch this, Harry. How's that Dark Souls sound go? Home. It's like a home sound. Yeah. Uh, Nina Pedia said, Tangent Gang, rise up. Already on it. And Shwaisu said, Congrats on monetization, Ruse. Manifesting Horgy. Uh, uh, actually, oh, what's weird is that last part of that super got blurred out. Um, but thanks anyway. Uh, thank you for that super. That was super nice of you. Uh, Deet said, fellow bug enjoyer, can I recommend you Bug Fables in these trying times? Is it Bug, is bug Fables a horror game? I've never played that. Is it, is it like, um, is it like that Viva Pinata game? I always thought it was like, I always get that in Viva Pinata mixed up. Uh, Kuneho said, yes. To what? Yes, what? Uh, Praxina, who has, uh, oh, what is that character's name? Um, Jack Spicer? Jack Spicer, maybe? As a PFP, he says, cute dog with a heart. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> That's the guy from uh, fucking, oh God, that is an old cartoon. What the hell was that cartoon called? Uh, uh, Shallon Showdown. I beat you to it. You didn't say it. Nope, I beat you to it. Shallon Showdown. Uh, yep, Shallon Showdown. Yeah, that one. I always liked that because uh, I was born under the wind sign. I always liked Raymundo a lot. I thought he was really cool. Um, I'm a big wind element lover when I am using elemental uh, affinities in games. Though I still gravitate toward like shadow and poison. Poison first, then shadow, and then ice sometimes, and then wind. Mm, good times. Wind's super fun. Wind's super undervalued, I feel like. You would have a crush on Jack Spicer. <laughs> I promise Bug Fables is Paper Mario. No horror at all. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I try something like that. That could be fun. Uh, I feel like Earth is also undervalued. It's always fire and water with people for some reason. Uh, I like fire okay, but eh, it's okay. It's okay. Arson's fun. Uh, Heart on Face said, didn't have a chance to say this, but congrats on monetization. Streams are comforting in such a manly way. I love your dagger. Thank you. I don't know how you find my voice comforting, but uh, thank you. That's... Very kind of you. Did I catch up? I am close now. There's only three more. Here we go, baby. Uh, Robins and Crow says, you're now becoming my least favorite Oshi. Oh, no. Oh, yeah? Well, you're welcome, I think. Uh, muck you. Poison and fire, says Flama. Flama? Flama? Fiamma. Sorry, Fiamma. I read that as an L. Um... I like Poison and Fire. I find RPGs struggle to make a good, uh, a, a meaningful difference between them. I feel like maybe Fire should be instantaneous, like dot damage that burns really fast, but wears out quickly or is easy to remove. And Poison should be a slow burn tick down that takes a while to remove, but, uh, or e either goes really slowly and does a consistent amount of damage or is very hard to remove to like really differentiate them. That or poison should be debilitating to your abilities in some way instead of just being raw damage. But I'm not sure yet. I'll have to figure it out. Because I want to make a TTRPG one day. Like I want to make a tabletop rule set and I really want to figure out how to differentiate different types of dots and how to make them meaningfully different. Uh, but Mucky W, or Mucky U, said, my first ever, whoa, your first ever super chat. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you made me start watching Hollow Star. I did? <laughs> How? Uh, made you, made me watch, start watching Hollow Stars. Absolutely adore your streams and vibes. Keep it up, adore badass, cute soon. Well, 
thanks, I guess. <laughs> and Lennon, welcome back. Said, you're right, I lied. Homestuck was the deal, deal breaker. I'm better off this way. Yeah, that's fair. I know we all love Homestuck, and that's the that's why it was the free space on the um, on the bingo. We all like Homestuck, unironically. Don't worry about it. You'll get there. You'll you'll realize you like it one day. You'll realize that 95% of today's internet culture is based on Homestuck somewhere <laughs> at some point. Lastly, the Laden Sparrow, um, African or European, <laughs> said, three more, huh? Yeah, <laughs> three more. <laughs> All right, we made it, baby. I made it to the end. Thank you for the super chat. We did it, baby. We're on the way. Oh, no, that was a swallow, not a sparrow. I'm dumb as shit. Never mind. Ignore me. I made the wrong reference. Fuck. All right, well, that's the end of the stream, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm terrible at this. Uh, I made the wrong reference, and that's it. I fucked up. Game's over. That's not true. I'm kidding. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> But we made it to the end of the Super Chat, so now I can hop over to Hunt Showdown. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time out of your day and the time out of your wallet um, to feed me delicious soup. Uh, without you, I would just be eating air again, and I'm tired of eating air. <laughs> pronounced Astra, pronounced uh, Amartya. Ah, Amartya. Pronounced Amartya. Have an electrifying super terror. <laughs> you adore a badass. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yes, I do play Diablo 2, or I have in the past. Uh, Seagull Vartan said, I just want to say I love the confidence you have going into things you aren't comfortable with, and I hope I someday have that kind of attitude. Just start. Start doing it right now. You don't need to have confidence for it. I'm I'm not confident. I just have false bravado. I just fake con Listen, all right, I was a little fucking dweeb growing up. Like, when I was in school... I got bullied constantly, all the time. I wasn't, I wasn't cool. I wasn't popular. I wasn't confident. Um, but I faked it. I faked it, and suddenly people thought I was cool for some reason. All I had to do was pretend I was confident. And everybody thought I was the shit out of nowhere, and it was, it was complete fake. Like I have worn so many masks in my life that I had a critical like crisis of self when I became like when I got out of high school. I suddenly realized that I was faking so many different like personalities around people to make them like me and so much confidence that I wasn't sure where ruse began and ended and whether or not I was just all of the masks I wore um, until I realized that all of those masks I wore were just different aspects of myself and the false confidence somewhere along the way had become just confidence um, so my advice to you is be unconfident don't be afraid to be unconfident just do it anyway it's going to make you uncomfortable you're going to be nervous I was nervous yesterday to a degree but I still just did it just fucking do it. Fuck it. Serotonin! Or Tony said, you better find a holy hand grenade for all your awful references. Chat's gonna go rabid soon. I'm trying my best! Okay? I bet puberty hit you with a cool stick. I didn't hit puberty until way too late. I was like, I was like four foot fucking ten until I was like 16 maybe. Then I shot up. <laughs> Hands totally real, Crimzoopa. Read this message. Fuck you. I'm not reading it. <laughs> he said after he read it. All right, let's get to it, baby. Uh, let me switch over to Hunt real quick. Uh, I'll do that in the background. Um, One second. We're just going to pop Hunt on, which means I got to turn this down. I got to move this over. What are we if not a mosaic of the people we love? Exactly. What are we if not the hodgepodge cobbled together pieces of mosaic of our lives? Every tiny shard of pottery is just a, a memory that's placed together and glued together with our own personalities. Boom. That's what makes you you. You are all of your own experiences and the personalities you put on around people. I think I realized there's no core you, right? I think I realized over time that you are different based on who you're around because people are what make you you. Like there's a you when you're alone in your quiet singular moments with just you in the universe, but there's a you you are around, you know, your mom or around your friends. And all of those are still you. None of those are invalid and that's okay. Cliff Butcher said, many of your opinions are trash, especially Monster Hunter, but I like you anyways. You're wrong. Monster Hunter tries the best Monster Hunter. Fight me. <laughs> hey, Macaroons. Welcome in. How's it going? Macaroons. Hi, Fleon. How's it going, Sin Pilot? What are you up to today? Hello, Crimson Riz. Incorrect. I lack, I have negative Riz. I have negative Riz, and I'm totally fine with that. 
Um, hi, how'd your stream go? What'd you get up to today? Play Final Fantasy 14 with me. I would sooner die than go back to Final Fantasy 14. That's not true. I'll play it at some point, uh, but not today. I'll tell you that. How about you play WoW Classic with me, huh? How about you play hardcore, and if you die, you die, and then I kick you out of the call. Uh, think fast, loser. Throws my savings at you. I parry your savings, tomato Chan. <laughs> Stop making me cry. Stop being a baby. All right, let's swap over to Hunt Showdown. Here we go, gamers. Rise up, dead man. Uh, oh, I'm too zoomed in. Wait a minute. That's not right. Uh, mm, we lost our character last time. Oh, I forgot to tell you last time we were playing Hunt. Uh, I'm going to give this one to you real fast so you know how Hunt works. Uh, when you die in Hunt, you stay dead permanently. Your character and all of the gear you bought for them is wiped out. So you have to spend in-game money to get characters in Hunt. Um, so sorry. An hour later, game time. Hey, that's not bad, actually. For the amount of supers we had, I feel like I did okay, right? Whoa, too loud. <gasps> they got the classic theme back. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, baby. All right, let me hop into my box here so I can turn my... <laughs> My mood lighting on. Nice. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is everything working? Yeah, it is. Anyway, sorry, Flayon. Uh, I didn't hear what you said you did for stream today. You played Final Fantasy 14, probably, right? Are you a howdy partner, cowboy, or a this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Cowboy. I'm a, um, uh, uh, it's high noon. Cowboy. Shit. Did I miss a super? I did. I go back. I go back. I'm going to catch these. God damn it. No, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. I got it. We're good. <laughs> I'm a genius. Uh, okay. Let's get ourselves a hunter going real quick. Um, so for those who weren't here last time we played Hunt Showdown, Hunt Showdown it's an extraction shooter. Um, you basically go in, you try to kill a demon, you gather its soul and take that out of the map as a bounty. However, you're competing against other hunters who want to kill that demon and take its soul because they want money. And despite doing good and fighting hell, literally, you aren't heroes. You're just guys who are doing it for money. So they're just as likely to kill you and take the soul off of you so they can turn in the bounty, even though you're the one who killed the boss. Um... You buy characters in this screen here, and you get one free character per match, but they come pre-equipped with weapons, and they're usually not great weapons. So I tend to buy legendary hunters just because I like them. These are basically skins. They don't give you any real advantage, and they cost money in-game, which you can see up here how much money I have left. I'm actually pretty low right now, so I should be doing really budget builds to save money, and I'm going to do a budget build with... The I like Lonely Hal. I like that skin a lot. We'll do Lonely Hal. He's just cool. I like his little wolf skull. Um, we're gonna buy some really cheap stuff. Plus, I'm like level one because I recently prestiged this character, so I have no gear. Uh, I recently prestiged this account, so I have like no guns unlocked. So I'm just gonna go back to my Springfield, which is a very, very, very affordable, only thirty-eight dollar um rifle. It only has one bullet, but that's okay. I only need one if I aim right. And a Scottsfield, because I love this pistol. You know what? I'll even go with a Nagant. Wait, I've unlocked baseball bat? That's a weapon? That's cool. But I'm going to use the Nagant, because it's the cheapest uh, pistol you can get. Oh, you can also unlock ammos by getting experience with your gun. For example, poison ammo, bleed ammo, high velocity ammo, which travels faster, so you don't have to gauge travel time with bullets as hard. Um, things like dumb dumb ammo, which is still bleed ammo. Explosive ammo, which literally explodes in shrapnel when you hit the ground or hit an opponent. Um, there's also like hollow tip ammo that goes through, or sorry, a uh, solid tip ammo that goes through like materials better. So like it could fire through, um, like this, this gun uses medium ammo, right? So that means it could fire through wood and thin like metal sheets and stuff like that. But if it was heavy ammo, it could fire through heavier metal and stuff like that. Holy Christ. Do you really have 91 pages of skins for this game? Do I own that many? No. Flayon's going to play WoW with me. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Anyway, never go in the bayou without uh, a knife or at least a melee weapon. 
and a med kit. Those are the only two things you absolutely 100% have to have because you need a way to heal and you need a melee weapon to deal with trash mobs and not waste all your bullets. Cool? Cool. Let's do this. We're going to go into twos to warm up because I'm not strong enough to go into threes right now. Do you understand how this game works? Is everybody, everybody up to date? We all familiar? Great. So it's like Danganronpa. It's exactly like Danganronpa. Yes. Uh, this game's actually a one-to-one -one Danganronpa clone. Uh, did I not mention that? What does it mean to prestige accounts? So in Hunt Showdown, uh, once you hit level 100 on your account, you can prestige, which sets you back to level zero. You lose all of your gun unlocks. You lose all of your current hunters. And you lose every single unlocked ammo type and everything in the game. Right? So... What that does is basically put you back to being fresh in the game, but you can pick a perk when you prestige. For me, I've always picked just a free legendary skin. It's a way for you to get skins without paying for the game because I'm a broke little punk. Um, but you can pick other perks like a boost to your starting money when you start over. You can pick faster level ups. You can prestige faster, stuff like that. Um... So what that means in the case of me is that I prestige 12 times. So I'm not actually level 11. I'm actually level 131 right now. No, wait. I take that back. I'm not actually level 11. I'm actually level 1,311. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play this game a lot. It's been a long time since I have, but I used to play this a lot. Uh, this and Planetside 2, I played a fuck ton. Um, once the big pandemic happened, I got hooked into Planetside 2 for some reason. I was having a great time with it, but eventually they put me in charge of like a 64-man unit, and I spent more time guiding soldiers than I did playing the game, so that kind of turned into more spreadsheets than it did shooting, and that was a bummer. I really love that game. But at a certain point, the game stops being about shooting people, like once you get to a certain size, um, and it becomes more guiding soldiers. Because Planet Side 2, if you don't know, is a game where it's 200 players versus 200 players versus 200 players. It is in a small, like, state-sized or small country-sized map where you have 600 players live at all times fighting each other with combined warfare with, like, planes, tanks, uh, foot warfare, and stuff like that. Super fun! But I got into, like, a unit where they realized I was pretty good at, like, giving orders and stuff. So they ended up putting me in charge of a 64-man crew. Uh, and that was just a lot of guiding people. Because you can't really... Hold on. I hear something. Sorry, you can't get much done as a solo in that game. So you end up having to coordinate really well, like, in actual wartime. Um, so it ends up that you need somebody who's like kind of in a position of command to like give people the direction to get things done. I ended up being that guy a lot and I got tired of it. So Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. I can't see my HP. My camera's blocking my HP. Ooh, doggies. I'm moving really slow. This is actually a pretty bad start for me, but that's okay. I'm going to get Flayon in a while. Flayon's going to regret. Ooh, free grenade. What did I get? Oh, a frag grenade. That's the highest unlock of grenade. That's cool. You, it, it didn't unlock it. Like, I can't buy it in the shop. But the fact that I got one at this level is pretty nuts. I got to get better about using grenades in combat. You're not dead, are you? You're faking it. I know you're faking it. Get up, coward. Don't play games. Oh, you are dead. I lied. Okay. Sometimes they like to play dead. Is midnight too late, too late to make hot cocoa? That's halftime, baby. I ain't going to sleep at midnight. I go to sleep at like 6 a.m. Yeah, it's not too late to make hot cocoa. In fact, it's the perfect, the perfect time. Do it. Don't be surprised if you ask me to play Lies of P. You know, I feel like Lies of P is super Bloodborne coded, and that's actually a uh, Souls-like I've never played. Um, it's not my aesthetic, really. I prefer medieval uh, stuff to, like, that sort of Victorian England vibe. 
But I would definitely give it a shot. I will, I will not take care of myself. How dare you ask me to do the impossible? I'm staying up until 8 a.m. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Ooh, I feel like my sensitivity's off. Hold on. Uh, look away for a second. This is going to be a little jarring. Look away in three, two, one. Wait, I hear players. Hold on one second. Kind of out in the open. This is a bad place to be in, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. All right. I looked away. What did I miss? Hey, we're playing Hunt now. That's what you missed. Chivalry 2? I played a ton of Chivalry 1, and I got Chivalry 2, and then I never really touched it. Bummer, right? I would definitely play it, though. What? Oh, shut up. Sorry, horsey. Better to put you out of your misery than let you lay there wounded, though. Well, if they didn't know I was here before, they know now. I told you to look away! Oh, you're faking it. I know you're faking it. Get up. Get up! Mm. One moment. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah. Okay, sorry. Damn dogs. Happy birthday, Moon Pie! <laughs> Congratulations. Another day circling around the sun. Well, another year, I guess. Is that shotgun ammo? I don't really need that. Uh, so I think somebody already made it to the boss. I heard shooting over there. So we're going to go and party with them over there in a second. I just need to make sure they're not watching out this way because they would have heard those bullets. And a good player can gauge distance based on bullets, so they probably know I'm right here next to them. Let me turn this up a bit. It's going to be a little loud for you, but I need to be able to hear. What's my favorite single shot rifle in Hunt? Springfield by far. I do like the Martini Henry, and I practiced with it a little bit because uh, I wanted to get the... Uh, because I got the weapon skin called Oberon's Hound, so I wanted to get used to it. But uh, by far, Springfield is my favorite. It's my favorite budget gun and probably my favorite gun in the game. Maybe Vetterly can compete with it, but yeah. Oh, they're fighting the boss already. Uh, it's red, so they know I'm close. All right, one sec. I'm going to focus. I got to hear. They're pushing me. One's crouch walking in the mud over there. I'm going to take a position on the roof. This is really risky. Players could be behind me to shoot me, but it's going to give me an advantage versus these guys. Oh, he's got bleed shots, too. Okay. Oh, damn. He's nuts. He's nuts, Your Honor. All right, one second. Oh, and there's another team coming. Damn! That guy's wild! Ah! Oh, ah! 
Close. That dude's pretty good. Actually, that was pretty wild. Pretty solid fight, bro. Yeah, warm up round. We got this. We got this. Hey, is my screen right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, the centennial dum dum. He got me good. Ooh, PC's getting a little hot. Hmm. Inti, Inti. Hey, I unlocked a new thing. A medical pack? That must be new. I haven't played in a minute. I'm guessing that's a... What is that? I'm guessing that is a group healer, maybe? Uh. A portable medical kit that heals 100 health deployable and... Oh, okay, yeah, you drop it down and players can use it. Cool. That's fun. That horse got blown to bits. Yeah. I've got enough money to buy a new skin if I wanted. I wonder if anything's on sale. Did you solo the entire lobby? What the hell? No, no. Yeah, actually, you know what? I did. I soloed the entire lobby. I won. That's what happened. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right, we'll do another budget build. Hey, I unlocked the Martini Henry. Hmm, let's do Winfield. Winfield's a good, a really good budget gun. Super reliable. Good at most ranges. Um, and we'll just go back in full budget. Let's party. Immediately rock it back in there. Awesome. Sas Sasuga. Played duos with Octavio. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. This is open lobby. If Octavio wants to hop in here right now, I'm not sorry about it. <laughs> really? A light attack? That's wild, Coffee. I didn't know that. I've never used the baseball bat. I think that's new too, actually. I've used the combat axe. I've used the knuckle dusters, the knife, the heavy knife. Um, Yeah. That outfit's sick, right? Very cool. Huh. I'm surprised baseball bat's that strong. Oh, machete. Is it better than machete? I guess it probably does more raw damage, but it doesn't do bleed, right? I'm guessing to balance machete versus um, baseball bat. Baseball bat just hits harder. And does it have an up-down swing or a side-to-side -side swing? Because side-to-side -side swing wouldn't be great with a baseball bat because you're likely to tap the arm, which is a bummer. I like your drip. Thanks. It's getting a little hot in here, though. Let's pop that off. It's time to focus. That's beautiful. Would I play Diablo 3? Um... I like, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not big on top down action RPGs unless they're really well designed. I feel like they need to be hard enough that it's like playing against another player in League of Legends. Like, I want to be playing against someone who's really, really thinking about what they're doing. And I find often those games are more about just eliminating hordes and hordes of enemies with like mindless AoEs and power fantasy. So it's like, eh, it's iffy to me. Have I used Bomb Lance? I don't use it a lot, but I have used it. I find Bomb Lance is so situational that I struggle to make um, good use of it. But I do use it uh, in groups sometimes. I feel like it's a good group weapon for just instantly burning down uh, bosses. I prefer taking the combat axe if I'm going to do that, though. Just combat axe and a stim shot for infinite stamina. Diablo Hardcore? I'd play Hardcore Diablo, probably, yeah. Would I play Dark Souls Hunt stream? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I don't see why not. I mean, I've already beaten Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, though. And you know what? Dark Souls 2 is a damn good game, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. Am I, uh, I'm okay on RPGs. I'm not like huge on them, but I like them okay. Yeah. 
So the Winfield is maybe the first time you guys have seen me play with a gun that has multiple shots and isn't a pistol. It's a really good gun for, it has really light ammo. It uses the smallest type of ammo, so it doesn't punch through materials very well. But like every other rifle in the game, if you headshot somebody, they're dead instantly from almost any distance, not literally any distance, but pretty close. Um, it has pretty good uh, hip fire, which is nice and you know can come in clutch if you don't want to aim down sights. Uh, it has a really, really good iron sight. Like, that iron sight goes hard. I love the Winfield's iron sight. And it has a pretty good fire rate. So it's just a good, uh, what I call a Mario gun. Which is to say, it's a gun that's not, like, excellent at anything. But is good at everything. So often players spawn multiple teams around this spot. Why am I losing frames? Uh, often uh, multiple teams will spawn around this spot, so it's a good idea to be really careful when you're approaching this place. It's called Fort Bolden, um, and it is a popular hotspot for PvP. Oh, a car's driving by. A car's driving by the tavern! I need to hear! Shit. Shit. I thought I heard someone approaching, but I guess I was wrong. I hope I was wrong. Oh, hey, a saddle. Ooh. Ooh. Someone left a dynamite stick in that saddle. Hey, friend. Oh, piss. I'm gonna run out of stamina. That's not good. One second. All right. I'm going to head north to Seven Sisters. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. <laughs> nice try, baby. Oh, you're the one who left your dynamite stick run laying around. I was wondering. No, you may not pet the dogs in this game unless you count hitting them in the face of the knife. Then yes, you may. Those were demon dogs. Or hellhounds, I guess they call them. They're not very nice. And they come in packs of two to four. Very dangerous. Very, very icky. No good. Clearly demonic in nature. Ooh, hello. Hey, bud. You don't mind if I just pop in here, do you? Hi, hi. Sorry about the weird beehives growing all over your flesh. So it's not here, and I hear gunshots at Pelican Prison, I think. Let's head to prison. Bruce, just saw you're gonna have uh, gonna be in the Apex Custom. Hope you guys have fun. Thanks. I don't know how to play Apex. Uh, I should probably put in some time practicing, but eh, whatever. I'll wing it. Don't, don't, don't give me away, you little bastards. Someone else is here, one second. Shh, 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 listen. Someone's crouching in the water. You hear that?
I think I'm going to make a run for it. Water devils here. You hear that? Oh, I see you. Thank you. Thank you for the luck in the uh, custom. I'm going to uh, do my best. Oh, they heard me hit the water. Oh, best to get out of the water when they start coming. All right, someone already killed this boss. So we're gonna have to be careful about how we approach. Okay, I hear one running around up in the prison. Hmm. You're rooting for us in Apex? Hell yeah! <laughs> Don't get your hopes up though. Okay, so it's actually in the prison up on the hill. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. All right. This is going to be so hard to push. They're up in that fortified prison. They could be watching from any of these windows. Plus that tower up there has a spot to watch from. Hmm. Someone's running around over here. This is the most super cozy game. <laughs> All right, here we go, baby. Whoever killed the spider already has the bounty, so they know where I am now. They can see me through walls now. Right there is where they are. Someone's running up there. Someone's right there running up to the prison. There they are. Here they come. Ooh, that hurt. Damn, that's a strong rifle. He must be using the Sparks. So Sparks rifles... Oh, well, they killed me through the wall. So a Sparks rifle um, does exactly 149 damage, which will leave you with exactly one HP, no matter what. As long as it doesn't hit you in the arm or the leg. So that dude tapped me with that Sparks and brought me to one HP. And then his buddy just started firing in the wall till he tapped me. Which was smart. That was the right way to play that. Not great rounds tonight. Let's try again. This time, we're going for it. Headshot or body? Headshot will kill you with any gun in this game. From the distance he was at, any gun in this game will kill you in one shot. Uh, if they hit you in the head. Body shots with sparks brings you to exactly one HP. Which is spooky. Because if you take any damage from a zombie, falling, uh, stepping on like any sort of damaging AOE, fire, uh, poison, uh, bugs, any of that touches you with one HP, you're gone. You could technically die to getting hit by a throwable. Like if a grenade hits you in the head without exploding, the damage it does from colliding with you will kill you if you've been tapped by a Sparks. I once watched a man kill somebody with throwing glass. There's an item in this game that's just like chunks of glass that you throw to make noise. It does exactly one damage when it hits you. Yep, one shotgun pellet caught me through the wall. Done. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm trying to teach you. All right. Apparently, this is not the skin today. It's obviously the skin's fault, right? Like, that's the superstition in me talking. We'll go with Devil's Advocate. Bum, 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 bum. Lever action rifles. Perfect. I was just using a lever action rifle. So we'll use a lever action again. So, I'll give you a little bit more information about the game while we're playing. 
Hunters, if you buy the ones that cost money, do come with three traits. However, the reason this isn't super powerful is because they're always randomized. Usually, if you win a game, you can buy traits. Like, you could spend your survival points on traits if you don't die in a game. But the paid hunters start with three traits naturally, but they're always randomized and only the ones you have unlocked, right? So this guy has determination, which means my stamina recovery starts sooner, which is great. So you can run more frequently when you get exhausted. I have horn skin, which is pretty useless. Basically, blunt melee weapons do 25% less damage to me. Not important. Never going to come up. Um, you might survive one baseball bat hit if you're lucky. And then lastly, I have iron repeater, which just lets me stay in the iron sights when I'm firing a shot using lever action rifles. Typically, when you're using a lever action rifle, when you shoot, your character will come out of iron sights and go back to hip fire while he pumps the lever. And then he'll go back down iron sights. Go to sleep, Sylvia. Sleep well. When the dogs bark, do they alert you when other players are nearby? Uh, yes. So dogs will never go off for a zombie. They only ever go off for something a player has done. Either they heard a bullet or you got a player got too close to them or something like that. So if you hear dogs barking, there's players nearby. Same for horses, crows, ducks, uh, any sound trap, really. If you hear zombies like getting raged and make that sort of like ah, sound, that means they've triggered onto a player. Are there any other sound tells? Glass, players walking on glass, uh, cans, uh, chains. There's a lot of sound cues. This game's sound design is the best sound design in any game, period. You are not going to find a competitive game that has better sound design than this. Like, trying to play something like Apex after playing this is like going deaf. Like, the, the, the directional sound in this is absolutely insane. Not always, Tony. So, player sound doesn't always equal player. Like, if you hear something on glass, could be a zombie. Could be a player. Like, I stagger my steps on glass slowly to make it sound like a shuffling zombie sometimes, for example. Rain makes it really hard to hear. And that's a relatively new um, weather effect, actually. Which is really cool, because sometimes it'll get really heavy rain. It'll set off all the crows and ducks in the area. Um, which makes it even harder. <laughs> all right. Uh, apparently somebody's not loaded in, because I can't, I can't move. Let's figure out where we're going, then. Uh, we are going to head to... Mm, we could go Reeves Quarry... I like fighting at Quarry, okay. That or Darren Shipyard. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to head to Quarry. That is kind of scary, huh? The zombies make noise. I mean, they cough, they choke, they make little, like, <coughs> sounds or whatever, but they, they never scream until someone's close. Do I have a favorite location? Um... Not really. I like Ironworks okay. Uh, I like fighting in that weird post office area on Lost and Delta. Yeah, it does, Softy, yeah. Hey, bud. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, so much for being quiet, I guess. All right, let's do this. Is this game free? Nope. It would be nice if it was. I heard gunshots that way, and one thing I always stand by in these games is head toward the action, so. I'm gonna go figure out what shot a bullet. Ooh, but I do wanna show you guys Spider. Ah, dang. So, here's another quick hunt tip for you. Every time you get a clue, it'll gray out some of the map in dark gray. You know the bounty is never in that location. One thing you might not know is that it tends to gray in a pattern. So because the top is graying and none of the bottom is, and some of the right grade, I can assume the bounty is near the left bottom side. 
So probably one of these three areas. Not everybody does that, but I do that. I have played Apex in the past, but I'm not great at it. Uh, and I haven't played in years and years and years. Um, I never really got good at Apex. Ooh. You okay, buddy? Seen better days, huh? Ooh, that heavy rain makes it hard to tell where everything is. Spider's here. All right, I'm going to show you the spider. I promised I would, even though players are probably coming. Pick this lamp up. Uh, if you have arachnophobia, look away. This is one of the best animated spiders in gaming. Ew, you're yucky. Ew. So here's some hunt lo lore for you. The spider is actually 12 human bodies uh, that were buried in a mass grave and eventually just combined into each other. You son of a That'll teach me to follow you, you little dick. Yeah! Yeah! Come through the fire, asshole! <laughs> I hear you on the roof. Yeah, get down here. There you are. Okay, she's mad. We're gonna back up a bit. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah! Fuck! She poisoned me! Okay, we're still secure for a second. Where'd you go? There you are. Someone's cooking dynamite out there. Ah, whoa! What? You knew exactly where I was? That's fishy. That smells a little bit like, uh, that smells a little bit like wall hacks, but it could have been. Maybe he's just really good and he can hear through the heavy rain and the spider moving and has played long enough to know exactly what the inside of that room looks like and which crack in the wall he could throw it through. Maybe. Um. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> that was nuts. Good shot, bro. He could just be cool and epic. Frag bombs do have an insane range. That's true. Uh, that dude threw a frag bomb and it landed right on my head. Frag bombs do have an insane range, but that did hit the ground at my feet. Like, that shit tacked right where I was running. I was like, oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's a Rusader. <laughs> probably not. No. I'm assuming that guy's just really good. He was probably also a solo player. So the thing is, when you're playing in... um in lobbies of duos and trios, typically when you're a solo player, you actually get put up against players that are slightly lower tier than you. Oh, I lost an MMR off that, that's a bummer. Uh, so typically, if you're like a four star, right? Which I was previously. That was me, bro, I knew it, Gerard. Talk about two steps ahead. Yeah, he could have been, I don't think he was lucky and I don't think he was cheating. This game does have people who unfortunately do cheat because it's using easy anti-cheat, which sucks. Um. I, I like to think that he probably just had really good game sense. He probably just knew where I was at the time. Um, but anyway, if you go into like groups of duos and trios, you tend to get put up against people who are lower tier than you by a little bit. So like if I was four star, I'd probably fighting teams of three stars, et cetera, et cetera. It could have been, it could have been Gerard though. Put your money where your mouth is, Gerard. Get in here. <laughs> If he was a cheater, he probably would have wall-tapped you. Maybe. 
Possibly. Depends on how confident he is. <laughs> levering. We love levering in this house. Let's try that out. All right, let's go again, baby. There's cheaters in every game. Let's be real. It's not too bad in Hunt. I don't think that there's a lot of cheaters in Hunt because it's not... I'm not going to say there's none because there's definitely some. I mean, I've been like... There was a... There was a... <laughs> Last time I was playing seriously, there was some way in the game where you could shoot anybody across the map with any gun. So, like, somebody would be standing on the top right of the map. I would hear a bullet sound like... Pew! From all the way over there. And then it would be like, so-and-so headshot you from, like, 10,000 yards with a pistol. A silenced pistol. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> but Hunt is pretty cheater-free for the most part. Because I feel like it's so, like, not in the... It's not common to see people who play Hunt. So it's not worth cheating in. It's not like Apex or, or Valorant. Where, you know, there's a reason to grind up a ton of skill. Like, there's people who take Hunt seriously. But it's not... With, with a lower player pool, there's less chance that people give a shit about cheating, is what I'm saying. But there are definitely some cheaters. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of niche. It's kind of niche to cheat in this game. Yeah, that too. There's not a lot of clout associated with being good at hunt, because who cares, right? If you go into, like, a game, uh, like, if you go into a place where people play shooters, and you're like, oh, I'm, like, you know, six stars at hunt, most people are going to be like, okay, what is, half the people are going to say, what is that? And the half of the people who know what hunt is are going to be like, okay, cool. <laughs> Doggies? Well, yeah, yeah, come get it. Sorry, bud. Luckily, knives are very effective against dogs. Apparently. Oh, I'm going to show you levering real quick. So levering is a trait that makes it so if you're holding a lever action rifle like this one, you hold it at a little bit of an angle and your character will just pump it really fast while fighting. So typically, this is as fast as I can shoot. So I'm shooting as fast as I can right now. But if you don't aim down sights and you hold it at the hip when you have levering as a trait, you'll do this. Your character just pumps the lever while shooting. Also, you start to go deaf because shooting bullets that fast near your ears, not good. Oh, the boss is here. Oh, I missed. I'm bad. I'm bad. Yeah, it applies to anything with a lever on it. So some shotguns, any lever action rifle. Uh, I got to go meet that. Hold on. I can't just let them be there because they're pretty close. I'm missing a bullet. One moment. Mm-mm-mm. That used to be a cheat trick for players who use shotguns in Bioshock. There was multiplayer in Bioshock. Okay, I hear the clue going off, so they're close now. They're in this building. Now they're on the mud. One second. Hard to hear the boss right by me. My back's exposed. This is a pretty bad spot to be in, but we're going to see how we do. I think it's a solo. Maybe not. He just set off that horse. One second. Oh, 
Ooh. The sound design in this game sending me to a happy place. That's good. Oh, the clue's not going off anymore. Where's this damn guy? Did he flank all the way around? It's the eye of the tiger. This is the thrill of the hunt. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm tired of waiting. Let's find him. Now you're on the ground. I see. Okay, let's do this. Maybe I could creep up on him a little bit. And then use my levering to my advantage. But, but... It's a risky play. It depends on what gun he has. I can't tell from the shots. It sounds like it might be a rifle. Jeez. Oh, that's a fucking... God damn it. You dumb baby. You gave me away. <laughs> I shot your other eye out. All right, so he's above me. Does he know there's an underside I can be in? Hello? <laughs> All right, let's try and get up there and party. He's right here. Oh, he's cruising up there. There he is. Okay, he was a solo. Ooh, get a, nope, I want, I want your pistol, I have your pistol, damn it, I dropped my windfield, what's the calamity Jane, what is this, oh, it's lever action, okay, yeah, I'll use that, cool, thanks bud, oh, I didn't get his pistol, there we go, so this is a, I think it's a German pistol, Oh, this is bad, actually. Someone's in here. Poke your little head out, dick. Fuck. All right, hold on one second. Hi, Kiji. <laughs> I've got to use alternative methods to get around here. I'm going to use the boss to cover my trails. Cover my tracks, rather. All right, Dick, where'd you shoot me from? Woo! Spicy! <laughs> There's a silenced Bornheim now? That's so cool. All right. Hopefully this isn't the buddy the guy I killed. Otherwise, he's back up and I'm in trouble. Oh, thank you for the hot dog, Supa. I'm going to assume that was for hot dog Tavio. It was his buddy, because that guy was low on health. So his friend's here. He has a friend. Okay. Interesting. Ah! 
What? Oh, he got my ass good. That was a good headshot. Oh, his buddy kept reviving him from a distance. I see now. His bud was using a long-range rifle, and that guy was just getting up over and over. You think he had the revive perk? I guess that's possible. I haven't played with solo revive for a while. But doesn't it take longer to get up than that? I should have checked the uh, things. But then who would have shot me? Because I was still looting his body when I got shot. Hmm. It seems unlikely. Maybe his buddy had Necro. But it's possible that there was a third party who was just ignoring him. Yeah, Team Arbits for... We're going to get dunked on, but that's okay. Maybe it was your imagination? Oh, my imagination put a bu bullet in me. That makes sense. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. <laughs> All right, let's do... What was that? That We did Devil's Advocate. We did Lonely Hal. Ooh, the Reaper. The debuff skin. <laughs> Uh, let's switch guns. Let's try... Let's try an aggressive gun. Let's use... I want to use the Romero for... Ooh, I do like the Silent Swinfield. Good luck in Apex. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to go great for me, but I'll give it a shot. You want to use Axe this round? We can do Axe. Axe, and we'll use the Head Clicker. Yeah. This is a pretty good budget build. This is fun. What is the Romero Alamo? Who's your main in AN? What's AN? Animal Crossing? Wait. Cancel. I forgot. If I have an axe, there's no reason to have a knife. Let's switch over to knuckle dusters. Semi-auto shotgun. Oh. Last match details will show. Well, all right. Never mind. Apex. Oh, I don't have a main in Apex. Uh, when I used to play Apex, which was, again, a long time ago already, um, I played... I think I played Bloodhound. Uh, but I don't... I, I don't know. I don't know the difference between the characters, so I have no idea. Will I play it again? I mean, yeah, I signed up for a tournament, so I guess so. <laughs> We'll see how I do. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> it came full circle, baby. Oh, they're going to get wrecked. Well, I mean... I mean... If you guys bag a team, I will Aka... You know what? Easy. Easy. No problem. I'll bag a team. For I'll, I'll solo bag a team if I have to. Don't worry. <laughs> if it means I get more soup. Mm, chicken noodle. I'll bag a team in this game right now. Uh, Where are we going? Let's go to Raynard. Yeah. Succeed out of spite. Wait, is someone already here? No shot. How close is that? That's either right here or it's at Elaine and Sons. I think it's Elaine. Just in case, though, let's approach this with just a little bit of caution. <laughs> I think that's at a lane. I'm almost certain that's over here. Oh, piss. Oh, that 
was annoying. Did I lose a health bar? Sure did. All right. Damn hives. Every location in this game looks like it smells crazy. I promise you, nowhere in this game smells good. What are the chances someone's watching that clue and waiting for me to go out there and get it, huh? Maybe I can still sneak it. I'm gonna try and sneak it. Hello. Oh, they're here. Ah! Well, there's players here. That was awkward. <laughs> Oh, the Homestuck live stream is tomorrow. All right, hold on. Maybe I can get a little sneaky attack here. POV, you're an Armist cookie. <laughs> well, it depends on the situation, Jax. Sometimes I'm sneaky. Sometimes I kick in the door. I think in this case, I'm going to be a little sneaky because someone's waiting around for me to take that clue. It turned red as soon as I got close. So someone's being a cheeky little fuck. I should probably heal, huh? Better safe than sorry. Okay, yeah, they're down there. I can't believe they were just waiting around, those dicks. Are they leaving? Or are they just climbing up on those logs? They're leaving. Woo, they're tiny. <laughs> Trying to get him with a head clicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the clue's gone. Oh, the boss has already gotten. That's why the clue's gone. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I see. All right. Well, I better get out of here, but I can't go the same way they went because they will 100% be watching behind them now that I took pot shots. So we're going to take a bit of an off-brand path here. Extract while you can? Pfft, no. <laughs> no. We take these fights. Now, the question is, how paranoid are they that I'm behind them? Let's see. It's at Scupper Lake, and there's an extract at Scupper Lake, which means they're going to get away if I don't push. But this team could be waiting for me. We're going to try anyway. I'm just going to take the water out. Fuck it. That wasn't a good showing. I missed a lot of those for my head clicker. Hold on a sec. Hey, welcome back. There you are. But where's your buddy? That's bad.
One sec. Oh, yeah, I let him go on purpose, of course, of course. Oh, they're still right there. Man, that team's going to get away if I don't do something. Hmm. Hmm. It's go time, baby. <laughs> Zephyr, you ready? Let's do this. I don't want Zephyr blocking the screen from you, though. Hmm, he's pretty big. He's pretty big. <laughs> All right. Party time. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All right, let's do this, baby. I got to poke a few holes in these boys. Ooh, I'm dropping frames. Ooh, ooh! They never picked up the bounty. That's kind of weird, huh? Oh, there's more players coming? Interesting. Ooh. Huh. Huh. Where are they shooting from? Chapel? Why are they that far out? I need more ammo. Hmm. Looking iffy for the home team. Might have to rely on my axe skills. Is little tooth charm thing in your gun customizable? Yeah, actually, it's an unlock I got. You should play this game. Do it. Where are they? What are they doing out there? Hmm. They're like... Pissing off dogs all the way over here. They must have ran all the way around to try and cut off the extract. But why? Why that far? Man, I need to practice this game again. more hours of hunt. <laughs> Where did you run to? Mm -mm -mm. This area is so open and has so much water. Take care of our backs. <laughs> Thank you very much, Umi. <laughs> and Thank you for the soup. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, GB and I will try. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no PvE mode in this game. If you're playing this game, you're playing PvPvE, no matter what. Oops. Ooh, we love a little rubber banding. 
He missed. You suck! Boo! Boo! You suck! Oh, there's a dead guy here. Shit. Bye! Oh, there's a dead guy here. Shit! Ah, fuck! <laughs> there's a lot of dead people here. Someone's been waiting! <laughs> oh, they've been waiting for me. Wait for it. Oh, they have a grenade. Hi! You missed! You missed! You missed! You missed! You missed! You missed! <laughs> hey, friend! Come on, take your shot! Oh, I'm kidding with you. <laughs> I should check for enemies. Ooh, enemy. Oh, they're pushing me. I gotta go. I wanna borrow your gun. Crouch walking in the water. <laughs> hmm. They can see me, so they know I'm close, but they don't know exactly where I'm at. Yeah, they're looking for me, and they're being real quiet about it, too. I think this is the team I was hunting down earlier. Uh. Oh, they want to play at a long range. <laughs> I see. So the number at the bottom left, when you hold the bounty, you have a few seconds where when I'm using my dark sight that usually lets me see clues, allows me to see players. So it's that orange marker over there. And what that does is every time I'm using it, it starts counting down. If I loot bodies, I get a second back. But when you lose those seconds, that's it. They're gone. They don't recharge unless you kill someone and loot them. Uh, so it makes them very, very valuable. However, now that I have the bounty, you see these lightning bolts coming down on the map? That's always on top of me. So everybody in the game knows where I am on the map at any moment. But as a balancing measure, I can see them in dark sight, but only as long as I have those seconds in the bottom left. So, they're going to want to hunt me. They're afraid right now, and they're hanging back. And honestly, if they don't push soon, I might just leave with the bounty. Because I can escape down here. That's what these symbols mean. Those are escapes. They think I'm going to go up here, but I might just run south. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get a head start on them before they realize what's happening. But I need to get through some pretty thick water first. All right, let's see if they're pursuing yet. Nope, they don't. They haven't noticed yet. Okay, so I got time. Now they're gonna know. Okay, what do we got? We've got one. We have two health packs left. I've got 
six bullets, seven bullets left. That's enough. We can do this. All right. I got to get my stamina back. Hopefully they don't have Greyhound or they're going to pursue me. But they haven't even picked up the other bounty yet. So they presumably think my teammate's back there because I doubt they expect I'm a solo. Ooh, there's water devils in this water. Oh, and here they come. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're just going to follow the road south from here and just try to avoid hitting anybody. Yeah, one hour bands up, gamer. That's why I'm live. <laughs> How long have I been going for? I guess we're probably getting to a comfortable stopping point in a bit. Uh, I showed you the spider. I'm going to take home a W. I'm not saying I'm stopping after this one necessarily, but we'll see. We got some nice Zephyr kills. <laughs> How close are we? We're almost there. The next big bend should be the last one, and then we can escape. They still haven't picked up the other bounty. Are they chasing me? No? Wow, they're really scared. They really want to play at long range with those uh, rifles. You'll often find uh, players in this game will try to engage you at, like, either an exceptionally long range because both of them are using rifles or they'll rush you with shotguns or stay inside buildings and try to force you to get in with them. And that's annoying. It is kind of wild that that guy missed literally every shot on me. I was like, zip, zap, zip, zap. But yeah, they're definitely intimidated enough they didn't want to push me. They just now went over to the bodies and found out I wasn't there. Just now. <laughs> Any benefits for killing zombies? You get a little bit of EXP for your uh, weapon that you kill them with. So you can unlock more more ammo types or more like variants on that gun. Um, and you get a little... I, I want to say you get a little money at the end of the match. And a little bit of XP on your um, hunter himself. We haven't actually extracted once. I've killed a lot of people in this game. But I have not shown you an extract. So I'll show you why you want to live when this game's over. Also, you should never stand still, even when you think you're safe. You should probably be, like, popping up and ducking once in a while, because you're just easy headshots. I got the shmovement. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. Actually, you only get money for bounties, hunt dollars, and clues. Well, the more you know. You get XP for this. Thank you, CUNY, and welcome! <laughs> GG, GG. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. And I'll explain what you get. So at the end of every match, even if you die, technically this happens. But it gives you a quick summary of what you did, how much money you made. Uh, it'll tell you why you made that money. Um, It says I only killed one hunter. Okay, two hunters. I was like, bullshit. Zephyr got two of them and I know it. And then your hunter themselves gets XP, but so does your account. So we're just going to skip that. I'm level 17 on my hunter. I'm level 13 on my account, right? And this is what I'm working toward unlocking next. Your hunter's XP can be spent... Oh, I went back up to four stars on traits. So this is the trait system. You can have this many traits. I, I don't know if that's like, what, 15 um, all together, right? And you can buy traits here, which has really interesting art. Very cool. Uh, and these do different things for you that stay on your hunter until your hunter dies. Night, Saya. So, for example, monsters can't see you, but they can still hear you. That's pretty sick. No monster can see me. They only hear me when I get close to them. Uh, personally, I always take Greyhound, especially on a solo. It lets you sprint for longer. So, for example, if I took a bounty and I was running from enemy teams, I'm going to last longer in that running match. If you don't take this and the team behind you has this, you are eventually going to tire out and they will catch you. Uh, I have a few go-to traits I always take, um, which is determination. Uh, I almost always take. I like the movement traits a lot. I usually take gator legs. Sometimes I'll take light foot because it's quieter to like jump over things. Um, I like taking pack mule in a group, but I don't do it solo too often. I like vulture okay when I'm doing rat runs, but I haven't unlocked a lot of traits because my account's super new, technically, since I prestiged. Oh, so let's take Pack Mule. It gives you more loot when you loot players and when you loot those little chests that I get grenades out of. Yeah, the art's really nice. 
speed medic's really good, yeah. Uh, shadow, huh? Why is there a shadow tree here but nothing else? Am I locked into the shadow tree? Every once in a while, Hunt Showdown will do events where they have three different, like, factions to choose, and that determines what traits you're allowed to unlock in that faction. Like, these ones are all global traits, but the ones with the symbol down here on the left, I think, are faction traits. Wait, no. This one's not a faction trait. This is new. What is this? Huh. It's a burn trait. When you die, or if you get knocked down, it goes away. That's kind of cool. Oh, it can only be obtained in a mission. You can't buy it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's really cool. Well, we don't have a ton of options, so let's take Adrenaline, which isn't great, but it's fine. And I'll take... Doctor's pretty good. Mm. I'm honestly just going to save my last few points. I don't think any of those are worth it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That was fun. That was fun. Uh... Which faction do you usually choose? It depends. So the factions are different every time they do like a season or whatever. Um, for example, I think the last one, I played like two rounds in that, so I really didn't get a lot done. But the last season they had like Shadow as a faction. They had Merchant as a faction. And I think Hunter as a faction. So it de depends. Like one of them was one that like lets you sort of like sneak past zombies. Um, so they don't perceive you, which is pretty cool. One of them let you be immune to fire damage, which was really awesome. Uh, that kind of stuff. Who are you calling Softy? <laughs> um, we made a good amount of money off that, actually. We made like 600, 700 hunt dollars, which is great. Let's, you know what? Fuck it. Let's push our luck and go again. Let's build for a trio battle. I want to build to fight trios. Let's unequip all. And I need a gun that's going to give me the ability to fight multiple players at a time. I think the silencer is a good bet. Oh, I don't want that, actually. I want the one with the skin. Silencer's a good bet. Scottsfield's a good bet. It's like hunting knife that we're definitely going to need at least a firebomb, I think. Yeah, let's fight trios. So the silencers, silencers in this game are pretty good. Definitely better than they are IRL. Uh, <laughs> they make it so the shots you uh, fire don't have a muzzle flash. And they make them much quieter. Not dead silent, but quieter. I don't really like bringing the razor wire. I feel like it creates such a stagnant playstyle, right? So there's an uh, there's an item in this game called uh, there's a bunch of different traps in this game, and one of them, if a player steps on it, a bunch of barbed wire springs out and covers that area, so it's great for covering doors. There's also grenades you can throw that are barbed wire grenades, right? And players will often bring those and just block every single door. But then it's a 20 minute standoff where they know nobody's going to push them because they can't get in through the razor wire. So all it does is stall the game. Like those players will sit there for 20 minutes and then the people who want to push them won't come in. And everybody just waits around until the map's almost done on its timer. And then the people with the razor wire eventually have to leave and they just get shot. So it's just a boring like stall until everybody's dead. A few traps once in a while as a treat is funny. Trapping every door so nobody gets to play and you just wait around, that's not funny. That's boring. Yeah, I like what happened during my last stream, which to their credit, they did break the wire to let me in. Now, they did immediately go back on their gentleman's duel and all three start shooting at me and throw another razor wire grenade on me. But, but... <laughs> Uh, I did kill two of them with a knife and shoot the last one in the chest. If I, that would have been a headshot, I would have had a triple kill there, and it would have been absolutely bonkers. Especially considering I went in there with one HP after they razor wire bombed me. Do I have any preferences for health distribution? I prefer um, big health bar as my first health bar. And mostly because if I, you know, get hit, I want to be able to back up and heal if I can. Thanks. 
I can't wait to go back and look at that axe double kill. I can't wait to go back and watch me dodging all those bullets. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not a one hour stream. The one hour limit's up. I'm powerful now. I'm free. I actually don't typically like this kind of iron sight, but it's okay. The hunt, the mask stays on during hunts. Ah, fuck it. Ooh, free trait! So sometimes, you know those traits I just bought for surviving a match? Sometimes you'll just find them laying around looking like this. And two players can pick those up, so those are really cool. All right, let's go. So what that one does, it lets me see hunters in this dark site when they're poisoned. Of course, I don't have any poison bullets right now, so that's kind of useless, but the idea is there. A free trade's a free trade. Oops. Well, didn't mean to do that. That hurt. Now I might need to go find a healer. That's annoying. Hey, a healer! Lucky! Ha ha ha! You guys go away. They're going to break down that door. So I'm going to go. Hello? Are there any weirdos out here? Hello? Oh, we're fighting trios. I, be I better be a little more cautious. I'm just kind of running around like a goober. This is good practice for headshots anyway and getting used to my sensitivity. Was that at me, bud? I felt like you were shooting at me just now. That was rude. Let's wait a second, shall we? Yeah, the zombie headshot sounds so meaty. Why does that have to be crows right there? I want to push up a bit and get in those trees. Where did he shoot from? A second's up? Oh, my bad. <laughs> What's he shooting at? There they are. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. We, we, we want to wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. Shh, shh. Be very, be very quiet. Might have went long. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to see me at this angle. That's bad. If I hold perfectly still, maybe he'll think I'm a zombie. Shh, we're zombies now. Think zombie thoughts. Think zombie thoughts. Oh, no, he sees me. <laughs> well, 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 my friend. That was awkward. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice try, baby! I'm simply too fast! Oh, fuck. That's awkward, huh?
You missed. He knows I'm here. You gotta be very, very quiet now. Wait, did he not know? Are they still running around in there? Did he not hear that? What the hell? Yeah, the gunshots actually echo. You can hear where most players are by their gunshots. There's no shot he didn't hear me shoot at him. A lot of partying going on around Fort today. Oh, they're throwing grenades in there! He didn't hear me shoot at him? No shot. Wow. my little head. Woo! <laughs> Ow! Fuck! That hurts, dude. You missed, baby. Oh, what a shot! What a psychopath! That was so well done. He tapped me right in the head. That was good. <laughs> that was actually a really well done shot. He did that. Oh my god, that was clean. I definitely thought I was going to juke that bullet. <laughs> I know. I was like, ah, this guy's not that good. He's been chest shotting me. That dude popped up and said, boop. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. Man, I can't believe that third guy out there started popping at me. He was logged in, yeah. I need more caffeine to log in. <laughs> All right, let me see how long I've been going for a second. Let me just check how long I've been live. About three hours. I think I've got one more round in me, and then we probably call it. Because I do want to unlock the... um beetle i like the beetle a lot just click on heads yep yeah that was clean i got his buddy on the roof and then he took me out i wonder why that third guy wasn't shooting at him at all um i'm about to cut my hand if that bothers you don't look three two one don't look Oh, he doesn't cut his hand anymore. Never mind. It used to be an animation where you cut your hand for that. You're good. We're good now. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Get all these. Um, so let's grab ourselves a new hunter, shall we? We did lose that level 17. Not the end of the world. Um, who have I not played in a while? Bah, 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 bah. You want to be the sheriff? Oh, this skin's fun. That skin will give you... Give you away in an instant. It's so funny. They changed the animation because it was kind of upsetting. Oh, I see. I see. That makes sense, I guess. What's that mean? What does that, what does that symbol mean? Do I have Carcass Gunrunner? I don't think I do, actually. Unless I unlocked him as a free skin. I could do uh, old Ebenezer Scrooge here. <laughs> the one with the literal target? I don't own that one either. But this guy is more seeable than the guy with the target on him. Don't get me wrong. That's a funny skin. Running around with a literal target on your chest is hilarious. But I mean, this is going to stand out everywhere. <laughs> Tis the season. You know what? Let's celebrate the holidays with a skin that has little hat pops up over cover and I get spotted constantly. I'm not linking shit. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Iron repeater. Lever action rifles. Greyhound determinate. Wow. Wow. That's actually really good. One really cool thing you can do is type in lever, and it'll actually give you all of the guns that have levers on it that'll apply to uh, the Iron Repeater. 
Don't want to use the marksman because I don't like the marksman. We'll do a shotgun run for our last run because that's funny. All right, let's do this, baby. Ooh, it's time to invoke the Christmas spirit. Bah! Humbug him. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna! Does the top hat have a hitbox? It does not, but it does give you away really bad. <laughs> Let's go! Time to kill! <laughs> We're gonna have to play really aggressive this time. Because I'm tired of waiting around for people. Plus, if we play fast enough, I can get maybe one more match in, but probably not. We'll see. You run after people with the axe when you're the target guy. You're right. Uh, did he win in the battle axe run earlier? Sure did. I killed two people with an axe and I dodged like 20 bullets. <laughs> I know that dude who missed all his shots was screaming in whatever voice call they were in because his buddy didn't take a single shot at me because no doubt the guy who went down first was like, just don't shoot him, just aim, just aim, stop shooting. And then the second guy was like, okay, I'll just wait. And then I just took my gun out and shot him in the chest anyway. <laughs> Ah, I hope I get to see that again later. I got to rewatch this VOD. I don't like my content, but I'll watch it for that. Not, I mean, I don't not like my content. I don't like watching my content, but I'll watch it for that. Oh, he shot an entire outline around me, no doubt. <laughs> I really wish I could see it from his first person point of view. Just zigzag, 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 zigzag. <laughs> Hey, it's Aoi. Oh, it's out in the open. Great. Do you guys want to gamble on players rolling up here so I can head tap them? Do we think anybody's going to roll up? What do you think? I want to gamble on it. I'm going to give it like 10 seconds. We'll just chill. No? Nah? Yes? I'm Ebenezer fucking Scrooge. I guarantee they'll be here. What am I talking about? My luck stat's negative one. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. Not another fire zombie. Why are there so many fire zombies out here today? And there's another one by the clue. No shot. Hey, bud. Why did you slap me? Rude. Oh, it's in the cart? That's funny. I like that. All right, let's do this. Hello. Goodbye. Are you awake? Nope, you're dead. Okay. Sounds like someone's already fighting the boss, actually. Oh man. I'm gonna beat me to it. That's a bummer. Ooh, crows. Ooh. Supply wagons. Hold on. Ah, for fuck's sake. Whatever. We grenade. So, what do we get? Ooh. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like my cookie stream. 
He's already dead. Oh, not a barbed wire one. Man, fuck off. So sometimes they come wrapped in barbed wire in case they've stumbled across a barbed wire fence or something, those armored ones. And when you hit them with melee, you bleed. It's very annoying. I'm losing frames again. No! Not my tinnitus! Wow, they really started me on the far opposite side of the bounty, huh? It's going to take me a while to get over there. Crimsmas. <laughs> I hear angry doggies. Angry doggies. That implies the presence of players. Well, too late for quiet now. Let's do it, baby! Ducks! Get down! What? Real? From here? All right, dude. You say so. I'm going to skip this compound because I've made too much noise here. Instead of getting the clue here, I'm going to go a little further out. I don't want people to come find me. Yet. I... Uh <laughs> Ooh, take me to church. We're at testimonial, baby. Of course there's crows right in front of the door. Why wouldn't there be crows right in front of the door? All right, we'll go in the back way. Game's really bullying me with sound traps today. See, that's why we didn't stay in that compound. You hear that gunshot back there? It's very quiet today. I don't hear any players. There's a little off-putting. Of course, there's another crow here. Just my luck. Out of here, you stinky birds! Not the Hakitos trying to get me killed. You don't see me. Oh, you see me. Hey, bud! There's enough for everybody. Okay, let's do this. There's gunshots up by Upper Dasal, which leads me to believe the boss is over there. I could be wrong. What? Connection problem? What? Uh-oh, we better hurry. Let's go. Dogs. 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 Hive. Mm, hive. She's going to be a little loud, so she might give me away, but... No shot. There's a fire zombie here, too. Wow, they really are bullying me today. 
I gotta back up a bit, get some stamina up. All right, let's go, baby. Someone just died over here. Fuck me, they're behind me too? Oh, come on. All right, let's do this, baby. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna have to wipe the team behind me and then I gotta turn back around and fight the team on the boss. And fight the team fighting the team on the boss. So there should be nine players around me total. I don't have an axe, but I do have a knife. Wait, where are the guys behind me? Here they come. Okay, it's taking them a second. They're going to get here. They're going to get here. Just a second. I'm listening. We gotta be very quiet. He's right there. Why are they running around out there? Can I hear you swapping weapons at this distance? No, but typically, yes. I think he's fighting somebody because he keeps repositioning over and over again. But there's also the team behind. This is a really, I'm in a really, really shitty spot. I'm not going to lie to you. This is rough. Uh, there's a team behind me. I know that. And there's two teams up here at the boss area. Night, Zuna. Here they come. Damn! <laughs> I definitely thought that shotgun was going to take her out. How many shots is that? Four? Wow. Fair enough, I guess. That's on me. That's <laughs> oh, I should have taken out my pistol. Ah, well, we tried. Ebenezer Scrooge put in his best effort, uh, but my tickle cannon didn't do it. <laughs> I am surprised four shells didn't take them out. That's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, I should have went for the headshot. I'm not sure how she ate three shots there. I mean, to be fair, like, it is a shotgun, but, I mean, shotguns hit pretty hard in this game. I've died from a much further range on a shotgun there. That's pretty wild that she took three of those and just kind of dealt with it. Huh. Maybe a fourth, actually, because I went down to hip firing after I missed, after I hit those first two. Oh, well, it is what it is, baby. <laughs> Well, that's three and a half hours I have been going for it. I think that's probably more than enough. I don't think anybody wants me to go much longer, and I don't want to make the VOD impossible to watch, especially since it's already split uh, between um, Super Chats and Hunt. So, oh, I thought I had levering. Oh, no, I had to stay in Iron Sights one, so I went into... I should not have gone back into Hipfire. That's on me. Still, I thought you would die from those first two shots. The more you know. Either way, uh, GG gamers, that was a lot of fun. Um, VOD's cut at six hours, if I remember correctly. Oh, well, the good news is we're not going to six hours. Don't you worry about that. That ain't happening. Oh, I'm like really far away. Why am I so far away? Where'd you guys go? Hello? Hello? Oh, ooh. 
There we go. Nice. Good enough. All right. They're cut at 12 hours. Oh, I see. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out for Super Chats and Hunt Showdown. I know we didn't. We only took home one win in Hunt, and we didn't get as many kills. I'll cherish those that axe round. Um, but I wasn't as cracked today. It is what it is. I had a lot of fun either way. I enjoy that game immensely, so it's okay that I didn't get as many kills as I wanted. Um, I still got a couple really nice ones. <laughs> Lots of people have six plus hour streams. Yeah, I mean, I've been known to do like 12 hour streams, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and make it um, tolerable for VOD watchers. And also, I mean, I've got a lot of streams this week I need to do, so I've got a lot of planning I've got to take care of. And uh, my PC is on fire right now. I was definitely losing frames in a few of those fights, and i got to figure out what's going on. I think I'm losing frames right now, even just sitting here and talking to you, which is pretty not cool. Um, the more you know! So tomorrow I'm going to be doing Super Bunny Man with uh, Gerard. I'm not sure if we're doing that on Gerard's stream or mine. I will tweet about it soon um but hey keep an eye out for a waiting room i'll let it that'll let you know check on either or okay okay cool as always thanks for hanging around um thank you so much for yesterday and today obviously thank you foster for being your least favorite idol you're welcome good night <laughs> i did it i kept up with the super chats i told you i could do it um thanks for making yesterday so wild and fun thanks for popping by today will i be doing gorilla practice probably not unless gerard wants to practice with me uh unless the other boys want to practice with me we'll see i don't know yet uh, we'll see we'll see i might practice on my own once in a while just to kind of get a feel for the game so i'm not completely fumbling but mostly gonna go on instinct so what else did i have to do there's something else for housekeeping i was supposed to talk about oh yesterday thank you for yesterday and uh a side note i know you've already been super generous to me and everybody else in armis and you know everybody in tempest and uh hollow stars in general uh but i did want to say that uh our debut merch that's what it was was available until the 25th of december so if you're looking to get yourself some of that feel free to pop by there and check it out not just mine but anybody else's uh it's all really cool they've got like of course your acrylic standees but more importantly than that they've got some really cool buttons one of which has a really interesting design that I don't think is too on the nose, which is the type of merch I like to buy, that people are like, hey, cool design. And I'm like, cool, it's from this. And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, it is. You can tell because of this. <laughs> oh, that's right. We also... Yeah, I mean, we released voice packs, but... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not super... Uh, experience of that yet so take that with a grain of salt i mean if you want to it's like if you if you get it you're just doing it to support me and that that's that's cool but it's not going to be like i don't know i'm not a, anyway it's it's the first time i've done a voice pack so don't uh you, you take anyway it's cool uh enjoy if you want to that's on you <laughs> uh so I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thanks for hanging out. I need to find somebody real fast that I'm going to redirect into. Let's see. Who's next? Who's up next? Who's up next? Um, I think Shinri's live right now, planning for the Minecraft collab, right? Is Shinri still live? Someone do some recon for me. Make sure Shinri's going to be live in a second. I don't care. We're going to go over there. If it ends up being a redirect train, great. If not, uh, if you like good voices, you're going to love Shinri's stream. Shinri has one of the most comforting, soothing voices I've ever heard in my life. And he's currently playing Minecraft, getting ready for the Stars EN slash JP crossover in Minecraft. I know some people were asking if I had made a typo. I did not. Uh, some of our JP senpais are going to be there. Um, all of Hollow Stars Ian should be there, I believe. And we're going to go play Minecraft together for the first time. That'll be our first uh, major collab as a Hollow Stars Ian branch, along with some of our JP senpais. So that'll be a ton of fun. Anyway, stick around. Go hang out with Shinri. He does. He just has incredible content in general, and he's prepping for later for all of us, so you're going to love it. Let's get over there, gamers. Thanks for popping by. Uh, I'll get smoother at reading Super Chats as we go forward. I'll make it a little faster, and uh, yeah, I had fun cracking heads and on. Let's do this, baby. Oh, uh, yeah, I stream tomorrow with Gerard. Keep an eye on those schedules. Thanks. Bye.